Okay, that's oh cool. Oh my god, I haven't chosen it. What happened to this 224? Because it was like, you know, split up, I guess. Was that? No, that can't be right. Oh, fine. Um, are we live? Are we live? Yes. I what? <laughs> Don't even joke. I've been live for ten minutes. What? No, don't be sick. Really? Yeah, two minutes. Is this a, is it? Sorry. Ten it minutes. Been two minutes on live already. What? <laughs> what happened? Are you serious? Yeah, we can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a can, I, can anyone hear us? Oh, but is this on? Yeah. yeah, it's on now. Was it on oh. before? Maybe. <laughs> Come on, dude. Let me see what's up. No, but I don't. We didn't, I never hit push live. Hold on, I don't even know what's going on. I can't see Are any comments. Sure? I can't see anything. So nothing counts. Um. There was comments. There was comments. Yes, yes, what's up, guys? Yes. Could they hear us? Since we've been on for 12 minutes. That's mental. Right, so we've got that up there. Then yes, I need we to... can hear you. We well, hear us now, can but you could, you now? Hear could you hear us beforehand? beforehand? Could you hear us before, guys? Um, let me pick the comments. Someone says you have been live for about a minute. Yeah, a minute, exactly. Is it one minute or ten minute, guys? It's one minute. Have we been live for one minute or ten minutes? Start recording. Hello. What? 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 What is up, guys? This is Alex from First and Figure. Hi, oh, this is Chuckles. <laughs> no one's answering the questions I've been told. Like, could hear you for a while. Oh, she. One minute. Everyone's saying one minute. Well, everyone's been saying one minute, but someone's been saying for ten minutes. It says it says ten minutes there, but I'm not even sure what is going on, guys. Yeah, what's going on? Have we said anything? I think I've been, I, don't... I think I've been swearing. I think it's all good. I think it's all good. Oh shit! I haven't. Have you recorded? Here, hold on. I'm transition. That's what we need to do. Transition that in. Yeah, I started recording. Everything should be a okay. Sweet. Yo, it's Sonic's birthday. That is right, Katie. You know what is up. Stephen Bennett, you're practice. absolutely right, says 13 minutes. I don't know what's going on. What, what, and what I need to do is Facebook Live counter. <coughs> mm, one more thing to do. Live counter. Okay, sorry guys, one second. I'm going to try and... Yeah, it says 13 minutes on the counter, but how long have we been live for, guys? Have you been... See, people been posting in the club saying live. That was only like four minutes ago. Yeah, exactly. So some people, some people says three minutes for them. Weird. So there's something wrong with the timer. Yeah, okay. Jessica says it says 13 minutes on hers, but you guys just went online. Yeah, exactly. Scare the hell out of us, man. What's we, going on? Yeah, we, we've been talking a lot of behind the scenes stuff. You know, talking about the next Dark Souls figure. Yeah, that 25 25k. Yeah. <laughs> and the 30k. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What is up, guys? Maybe it's a mobile thing. Is it, is, is it the mobile thing that's probably saying the wrong counter? What does it say on the desktop? Vanessa, if you're watching, there is a lovely counter. Hi, there is a counter on the side. Um, yeah, Matthew, Matthew McLaurie says you literally just went live on my end. Yo, exactly. What is up, Jivon? What is going on, mate? And we got Jeffrey Lee saying hi, guys. I know you're just over there. He's in the house. Do you want to come say yo? We got a a while. Jeff is appearing here in three. See, you just published two, three minutes ago. One. Oh yeah, I'm looking at the wrong side. I'm looking, trying to find you over here, but there you are. <laughs> while Jeff in the house. What is up, guys? You, shared, you haven't shared this in the club yet, have you? I haven't done anything. No. What's up, Keela? What's Michael? What's up, Michael? Michael? What's up, Sav? Yo, what is going on, Ashley? What's up, Jerome? Chandler in the house. Uncle Jeff, he called. He shout out to you. What's up, Sean? How's it going? Tiago in the house. Philip, that is our lovely Jeffrey. You'll see him. You'll see. It's our lovely Jeff. You'll see him more often in the future. 
will you have something planned for a little bit later on that you'll be uh, sort of seeing uh, Jeff more of. But he currently deals with our wholesale side of the business, so that's what he does. Hi, uh, will you have something planned for a little bit later on that you'll be... Uh, uh, we got Jordan in the house. I, Jordan, we just loved to see your Tanuki Mario unboxing. Have you done your Cat Mario? Has it arrived yet? I know you said in your unboxing that it was coming up soon. So looking forward to seeing that when you post that in the club. Fingers crossed it goes well. What is up, Dylan? Jamie Beck wants to know if Ornstein's in the house, and he's not, bearing in mind that Daddy Artorius, i.e. Guts, has only just left the building. There is still a power vacuum for who to arrive next. He is on his way to AX 2017. Those that are going to be in LA for that show, make sure you take some videos, give your impressions, see what is up, and let us know in the club when you see Guts and see what is going on. What is up, Uncle Scabs? What is up, Ryan Deegan? That is a new name. Can anybody who is new for the first time to have joined the stream, let us know in the comments if this is your first time. Do we have any F4F Friday Night Virgins in the house? Let us know. What is up, Joe Wall? What is up, David? Thank you very much for joining, you guys. We've got Pascal in the house. Chucks, you've shared that in the club? Yeah. Much appreciated. We've got them people coming in. Joshua is in the house. Jerome wants to know, do we have random statues in the house? I certainly do. Lots of vaulted stuff in there. What is up, Alessio Bucci? Hey, Laurie. Thanks for joining. She's new. That's well, what I wanted to hear. If you're new, please join the Collector's Club. Absolutely. Yeah. Laurie, if you're not part of the Collector's Club, please do join. Jerome, I'm not necessarily talking about F or F virginity in terms of product, but is it your first time on this stream? I want new timers on the stream to say, yo, what is up, to give us a shout out. What is up, Dominic, Philippe? What is going on, guys? <coughs> Anthony in the house as well. 89 people, thanks so much for joining us on this lovely Friday evening for us. It's been a long week of rain and showers and tornadoes and hurricanes and typhoons in Hong Kong. But today was the first day. It was relatively nice, so that was nice. What is up, Travis? Hey Sav, where's Mini Sav? Is he in the house? We've got Derek Baker in the house. We got Greg. What's going on, Greg? How's those streams coming along? Guys, I'm actually now we've just come back from the local sort of place in Hong Kong where you get your computer stuff. And that has got a bunch of We have a, a new sit-stand table being constructed over there, so you're hearing a lot of, uh, if you hear some, um, some uh, electric screwdriver noises in the background, you know what is up. It's not me farting, it sounds like it. <laughs> so, what is up, Gabby? So yeah, basically, the I tested it out last this week, and Clearly, one of my four RAMs was malfunctioning, which was why I was constantly getting B sodded. Today, I've now gone from 32 to... Has it gone over? It hasn't, no. I've gone from 32, and right now, I'm playing with 64. Let's see if there's no B sods, fingers crossed, because uh, last time, it kept B sodding all the time. And if it's not, that means we can do more video content and stream it and all nicely. Currently we have 95 viewers on the stream, a little bit later on the stream there will be the chance for you guys to win, there will be two guys with the chance to win 500 FRF reward points, if that number goes over 100 i.e. 101, there will be three lucky winners to win 500 reward points chosen at random, Chox will be giving that information a little bit later on in the stream. Marco in the house. Marco, you just picked up some um, some some FRFs recently. Much appreciated for the support on that. Got Ali in the house. Gilbert's joined us. Ninety nine people. One hundred and one chocks. Boom. That's three. Uh, by the way, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm uh, picking the last last week's winners. Uh, have you know Have you know that we've actually started the stream yet? Yeah, just, I don't just, know, just, no, no, uh, but you're doing all right. All right, just checking yeah, in to make seem, sure you know. You seem very energetic tonight. You had a decent meal, so you uh, had feeling energetic, all pumped up. It's a preview Friday. I'm always pumped for a preview yeah. Friday. 
Right, winners have been chosen, so we've got content. <laughs> we have content. <laughs> right, guys. So, so Akila's asking, can we see Spyro and how about the Matroid figure? Well, let me know who is the owner of Matroid. Maybe we should get a license for Matroid. Uh, Spyro is currently being submitted to the Big A and we are waiting to hear back in terms of whether or not that has, whether or not he's been approved. Darren's asking, any info on Morrigan? And the answer is in deep in development right there. Brandon Rostello is looking forward to the, uh, Brandon Rostello is looking forward to Preview Friday, much appreciated. Today is Preview Friday. It's going to be all about the Crash Bang Wallop Bish Bosh Crash Bandicoot in the house. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, guys, we did the video last week and a half ago, and guys, I think we're just shy of some, what is it? Something crazy like fifty thousand views for what? Let me see. Oh, the Crash the yeah the trailer. Let's have a look that up. Can we get a? Joshua says, can we get a 25th anniversary Artorias statue? <laughs> Artorias? Is, when is it going to be 25k for Artorias? So, we have just hit 47,000 views on Facebook for that YouTube, um, for that crash trailer, which is just crazy. So, mad love for those that have watched it and more watched it more than once. I really appreciate that. Uh, you know, really exciting about it. <clears throat> and what was quite interesting is if you guys ever check out something called VG Charts, that's a C H A R T Z. There is something called a pre-order calendar. Uh, sorry, pre-order sort of countdown. It sort of tells you how many pre-orders have been going for certain products, uh, certain games that are coming up. And happy to say that Crash is a number one when I last looked. And so that's really awesome to see. So. You know, Crash coming out on the 30th, so we're seven days away from that. So those that have pre-ordered it, thank you very much for pre-ordering you know, the game. Obviously, we want to shout out to our partners over at Activision. So, yeah, no, absolutely. We're looking forward to the game coming out. Yeah, when's course, the game coming out? 30th. That's and of right. course, you know, three days before that happens, on the 27th, a little company known as First to Figure Small Potatoes is launching a little something called Crash Bandicoot 9-inch PPC and we are excited to get that rocking and rolling. So those that are new to the stream, we will be streaming on the Tuesday as well, where we do a live countdown to when we pre where we actually uh, will, to the, to the moment that we actually go live on the 27th of June, to make those pre-orders available, because this is the first time it's low numbers are available for the entire Crash series. So those that are interested in resin, you wanna be getting, your, you wanna be getting hold of that, because Oh right, sorry, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, yeah. So those that are wanting to buy the Crash resins or whatever, the this is the first in the Crash series. So the numbers from this PVC will be throughout the entire line. Now that is something because you know we we really will hope that we can get some support on the PVC because that really is a scenario where we don't want to be reliant too much on wholesalers to dictate what product we make. And if we can sort of demonstrate that exclusives and PVC work for us as well, then really the sky's the limit in terms of getting more niche stuff. So, you know, fingers crossed. Yep. That's right, Javon. That's absolutely right. So, Laurie Hood, can you confirm the rumors that you guys are sponsored by Red Bull? <laughs> He's new to the stream. I haven't heard about it. Yeah. Red Bull hit, his, hit up Chocks. This guy yeah. has been like your ambassador for years. And who else? And who else? A new era. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Akila, I'm still waiting for the big end for confirmations on various suit. I will give him a nudge tonight. Unfortunately, no news is no news for right now. Uh, Stephen Rogers says he's arrived. We can now continue. So that's right. We can now start. And on that note, let us kick off the weekend review. Monday to Friday. Oh, over the weekend as well. So, jumps. Week, yeah. So, there you go. All is done. All right. So, are you, are you off, you off, Jeff? No, I'm cheery. Oh, you're yay. cheery. Yeah. <laughs> the weekend review. Yeah, yeah. So, we, in terms of 
sneak peeks and stuff like that. Last Friday, for a split second, we snuck, sneak peeked the uh, crash figure for literally half a second. We also snuck, sneak peeked the guts sword. I'm sure you guys would have seen it from last week's stream. And of course, as those that are interested in following that, at A, I said in the beginning, Anime Expo in Los Angeles. There will be, it will be on display. It's already arrived at Crunchyroll HQ. And uh, so that's, you know, we're looking forward to all of that. And it starts on the 1st of the 4th. So that's this Saturday, guys. Not this Saturday. What am I talking about? Saturday week. Mm -hmm. So that is what is going on. Want to make sure, is this moving here? Yeah, moving it's moving. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Because yeah. last time it sort of like freezes, <coughs> so if you remember, mm. it stops moving. Oh, I keep yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, David, let's see a photo of your haircut, mate. What is up, Matteo? So, what did we do? So we did the sit. Uh, we did the um, we did the guts. Yeah. We did the crash yeah. sif again. More production pictures. Yeah. Have been going on as production videos has been happening in the club this week. It's been a little bit less this week, right? Yeah. yeah. This week because anyway. you will spend the day in China as well. That's what I did on Wednesday. Was it Wednesday? Yes, it was Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday was in the factory. So that's right. So on Wednesday, I went to the factory and I did a documentary. For those that remember, I did a behind the scenes narrating what happens in the factory when for Breath of the Wild Link. I've done the same video for you guys and that will drop right after this stream finishes. So in addition to that, on Monday night, no, Tuesday night, we ra Hold on. I went on Tuesday. Are you sure? Yeah, I went to I went to the factory on Tuesday. And Tuesday night we filmed the crash Yeah documentary. The crash documentary. Yeah, Guys it was a long night. one hour and fifteen plus minutes of crash PVC documentary goodness coming your way later tonight. And some behind the scenes as well, right? Yeah, so two videos. So you spent China you spent the whole day in China on Tuesday. Well, did half a day basically mm -hmm. and then did a lot of uh, recordings yep yeah so uh, we will publish that video up as well yeah that's about 18 minutes of that now yeah. 18 minutes of behind the scenes going to be watching yeah. it piece by piece assembled once you see that and you watch the documentary that go hand in hand hopefully you guys like that let us know in the comments on the YouTube if you like these type of documentaries as well you know we're always happy to always show you what's going on behind the scenes but very sort of transparent like that very open like that yeah. then a couple of things uh, came into the office some samples We've got Jono in the house what is up Jono I answered we answered one of your questions in the crash documentary which was have you learned what have you learned from Breath of the Wild Link in order you know what have you learned from that with regards to making of crash and I've answered that question there are two things you will see it in the video itself. What is up, Prowitch? Thank you very much for joining us. This guy from <laughs> Thailand has something like he's going crazy, is it? Like picked up all the Zelda stuff, and he says once Zelda's done, he's going to be going up in the Metroid or something like that. So, really appreciate your support. That's been a lot of um, there's been a lot of stuff that you picked up recently. It reminds me of Pendo if he's in that. If he's uh, yeah, is Pendo here as well? And uh, no, I'm not. Yeah, uh, no, 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 no
So, Brian and Navarro, that's a new name as well. So, really, I, I love seeing yeah. new names, people joining us. Yep. Really, really love Coming that. Those, that spiral. those who haven't joined our Collectors Club, please do so. Okay. Let's keep going with what we are re referring to. Chox, do you want to talk a bit about what we received in the... Um, because you spent half of this week upstairs, I haven't even seen you this week. Mm, yeah, because I had to do a lot of things. Yeah, so basically uh, everyone's been asking uh, quite a lot in the club lately, saying, hey, when's this going to be shipped out? When's this going to be released? When, when are you guys going to take my final payment? You know, they were talking about um, Tekken King, King of Red Lines, etc, etc. And obviously uh, we've pretty much done with the samples. And th they came in this week, the King of Red Lines and the Tekken King. Uh, there's in, <coughs> I posted a couple of images in the club as well, uh, just to make sure that the samples are good, uh, everything's all there, you know, the art prints are in there, placed correctly, there's no damages or anything like that, there's no shipping damages, etc. And then we go, eh, yeah, ship it out. You know, it's part of like making sure that everything's look good. So uh, yeah, some of those items came in this week. Uh, We've got Jacob Ramirez saying he's got his RT, he, he's loving it. Much appreciated, yeah, thank oh, you for that. Got a converted order. What is up, Alex? Thanks for joining us, Mr. Hughes. Mr. Hughes, without fail, if there's anybody posting stuff that's off topic, mm -hmm. he'll be the one to report it <laughs> without fail. So, yes. ma much appreciated by uh, always letting the mods and the, the admins know. The F4F police. <laughs> <laughs> much appreciated, Alex. Yeah, I hope you guys like the King of Red Line art box. Mm. Very good, exclusive. I don't think you could quite understand. It is our physically biggest box ever. It's very big, but surprisingly quite light. It's that. It's the. Um, it's the base. It's, it's the base. Unfortunately, it's mm. done by volumetric weight. It's not the base. It's the. It's the. It's the. What do we call it? The the mast. Really? That is, it's the mast is creating the. Oh, the, the, it's the size. The size yeah, but yeah, I'm yeah. saying the weight. The weight is definitely the base. Oh yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. of course. What is up, Abaddon? But it's very well packaged. Jacob, please do point, uh, put some uh, pictures in the club for your RT. And remember, hashtag F4F, finger RT, you want to get that going on now that you're officially part of the RT club. Mm. All right. Next. <laughs> Alex Hughes <laughs> is saying, yeah, it clogs up my Facebook feed. That's my main reason. <laughs> and uh, what happened? What's been like? yeah, there's been a couple of polls this week because uh, during last stream, we were talking about Sonic. And then right after the stream, we were what saying, is up, Nicole? Right after the stream, we were saying, hmm, how about some uh, Sonic replicas? And obviously, we were talking about the title screens, and uh, surprisingly, the uh, Sonic Two title screen came out tops with like uh, 235 votes. So there was like Sonic Two, Sonic One, Sonic Three, Sonic Mania, uh, Sonic CD, and Sonic Four as well. So uh, yeah, it's quite interesting. So there's still a lot of Sega and Sonic love. It's picking up steam, and uh, yeah, we'll see how how that goes. And then today, obviously, is Sonic's birthday, 26th anniversary. It's just started. And uh, too many people thought it was Chocolate's birthday. It's not my birthday, guys. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we're asking, well, would you guys be interested in a 30th anniversary statue? And uh, that, look at that, 440. Five yeses Quite in twelve hours. Yeah, it's crazy, right? I think there is definitely be a massive influx of Sonic fans. Obviously, since we've done twenty fifth, which is fantastic news because it means that there's potential for future ones. Unless, of course, twenty fifth anniversary has not sold well enough and we vault the entire series. Hopefully, we can have. We will be something. giving you the information yeah. on the back of this piece of paper that tells you exactly how many pieces are going to be the addition size, so you can have that information, we'll be letting you know if it's been voted or not, we'll have that information yep. soon. And then that's pretty much that, you want to talk about that? That's it. So one other thing is last two weeks ago I talked a bit about Lucky Cut Mario and some of those issues with that, well I filmed a mini video about 11 minutes long and it was, went into detail for all those imperfections that I talked about on the screen, but I was using a much better camera to sort of really zoom in and show that. And those that have this on pre-order, I've asked our customer service team to individually contact every single person on that list 
they those must then watch that video and confirm they still want their order. If they do not confirm they want their order in the next 30 days, we will default to cancelling said order. Because it's very important that those that those have ordered it see these the, um, imperfections and understand that and still accept whether or not they want that post, uh, you know, want that figure. Now, if you are someone who has ordered Lucky Cat Mario and you have not received it, please check your junk mail because it has definitely been sent out. So, Jordan, um, yeah, so I'm not sure if anybody's seen that, that is not an owner of a pre-order of Lucky Cat Mario. I don't know that, but if you, uh, if you are a pre-orderer, you should have seen that so please do check your junk mail if you believe that should be you and you have not seen it definitely do not cancel it personally i'll keep it all right yeah let's uh keep going then is that it nah -huh. what else two t's two t's oh, okay. the bottom. all right you, unless you want to put that down there Oh yeah, yeah, that's like at the end. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Alright then. Uh, yeah, okay, I see that. Was that. What else did we What else did we do? Can you think of anything else? Can you guys think of anything else that we posted this week? I've been quite shy on the old sneak peeks this week. Yeah, I've been busy with quite a lot of things though. Sorting out this crash stuff. Oh, so Jordan says he's got his kitty Mario on the way, waiting for him when he gets home after work. Right. <laughs> um... So, yes. All right, cool. I believe that's it. So why don't we go ahead and start going with the TT? Sure. So, um, right. Just a quick reminder. The TT last week was TT55, which was the uh, Guardians Hunters from the Fantasy Star Online series. One of the, one of the great games... On the Dreamcast. P. S. Mm. O. Oh, that's right. It's got like 203 no's to 100 yeses. Does that surprise you guys? Do you think that this is criminally incorrect? Rally up PSO fans. TTs never die. Yep. It's up to you guys to rally the support to see if you can have your favorite PSO characters brought to life for the FRF love yeah um, please so then go ahead and try and get those people into the club and push that numbers up it never yeah. ever dies and we know that because well Jeremy Beerson knows that very very well because he has to update it <laughs> so that's TT55 for what is uh, up Ryan PSO. thanks for joining us TT55 for PSO hey I see Benson and a bunch of other people shared the video we really appreciate that All thank right. you so much cool right for this week it was uh, TT56 John Marston from the Red Dead Redemption series. Right. Indeed. That's 268 no's to 101 yeses. That's, that's it. For the Red Was it? Dead. Yeah, that's it. 270 no's right. to 100 yeses. That's even worse than PSO. 101 yeses. Oh, it's one. better then, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> 101 yeses. <laughs> um, <laughs> the stuff of nightmares. <laughs> Indeed. Um, yes, yeah, so, so I'm quite surprised about that, actually. I, Red Dead Redemption got so much, so much love, you know, all that stuff, you know, when it came out. I really loved that game. Yeah, loving a game and having a statue is a True. different thing, right? Maybe. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, it would actually ask the question if we were ever to go for a GTA, um, uh, GTA TT, how that would do. Nah, it won't. You reckon? Yeah. It won't. What can you do? What can you do? What can you, what do? Mean, what can you do, Nico? Oh, you mean GTA Five? Well, well, that oh, was the, four. Nico was the early ones, yeah. That was well, Nico, Nico was four, but there, five, there, you know. There, there was an articulated stat, uh, an articulated figure. Who, 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 who were the three dudes ago. in five? Um, uh, that guy with the, with the, the yeah, 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 the name, yeah. Um, Travis, Trevor, 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 
And then... Was it two guys or three guys? It was three guys. Three guys. Three guys. Trevor... I never got around to finish that game. Yeah, I finished it. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trevor... Trevor? Yeah. Who else? Mike and Franklin, that's it. Yeah. Oh, which one was Mike? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The, uh, the rich guy. Yeah, the rich guy, and then Franklin was the black guy. Uh, Trevor yeah. was the crazy guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love that. Love that. And it had Lindsay Lohan as well, right? No, Lindsay Lohan was in four, wasn't it? As in, like, they no, messed up her. Yeah, there's that poster, there. Yeah, they yeah. messed up and then she got all upset. Yeah, I think that was four. Trying to sue her. I think that was four. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, absolutely. All right, guys. Now, let us talk about the winners from last week, yeah. and then we can do the hashtags. Right. From the, for this week. Yeah. Oh, we talk about no the TT for next week. Winners the first, hashtag, then the hashtag, yeah, then yeah, the yeah, TT yeah, next yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. Too busy enjoying yourself. You totally forgot what what, what happens mm. next. Right. So the last week's um, hashtag was a uh, F or F Red D. Red D. Yeah. And the three winners are. Bum bada bum 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 bum. Number one, Danny. Junior, congratulations! And we have number two, I know all these names here. Number two, we have Angela La, congratulations! Hey! And last, but by no means least, we have a James O'Connor, congratulations! You guys will be contacted by Chalk, 500 award points, FRF award points coming to you. So, congratulations on that. We are now going Hashtag. to talk about next week's TT with the news that IO Interactive is now IO Independent from Square Enix. We thought it would be a great idea to do a Hitman TT. If you believe Agent 47 is the one for you and you love yourself some barcodes on the back of a bald head, let us know because that is going to be next week's TT rally the fans if you think that it should be getting a yes result on the TT so the question so the hashtag this week will be FRF 47 hashtag FRF 47 for a chance to win 500 war points next week Chosen at random, hashtag FRF47. Maria Spinner saying we owe her a Raymond TT. You're absolutely right. I owe you a Raymond TT. I owe um, um, uh, Nana say a Metal Gear Solid TT. I owe um, other people other TTs. And I owe you a Streets of Rage TT. 47, 47. Just type 47, it's much easier. Yeah, Give yeah. On. Oh, you know, either way, yeah, yeah. But four no, seven, yeah. Not either way. It has to be four seven because I ain't gonna search all that with two different hashtags. Oh, so that's the way you do. It. Oh, so guys, yes. to be clear, guys, <laughs> you have to put it hashtag F R F and then the numbers four and seven. That's the right. The digits four seven. When Chox uses, the, well, we won't talk about that. How that works? No. <laughs> what is up, guys? <laughs> yeah, Javon's Javon's corrected himself. That's perfect. That's Great. absolutely right, Avadon. Yeah. You just put the hashtag in the. In the stream, in the stream, live stream, and I'll be picking the winners from the live stream. So, I'll be checking that that these these hashtags are from the live stream. Uncle Scabs, not correct. Has, he's, he's, he's taking a piss. Pool, yeah, I know. He's taking a piss. <laughs> um, absolutely, guys. So, let us know right now. Is that something that you think that should get the FRF treatment? Agent Forty Seven. Is that something that you would like to see? Let us know right now. Is that something that you want to see? I wonder how that would do. Yeah, rally the fans. Rally the fans. Is that something that you want to see, Agent 47? Yes or no? In his tux, yeah. Pew, pew. Hey, Joe Wall says, hey, babe, I'm leaving in 10 minutes to pick you up. Who <laughs> is your babe? Who's the babe? Who's the babe? Hey. I see Nicole loving a breath of fire. She loves that. Yep. Henry loves Bonjo Kazumi. Golden Sun. Golden Sun. TT. 
Earthbound. TT? What is up, Bang? How's the weather in Vegas? It must be getting hotter since I lost. Steven, Steven with the spamming of Claymore. Claymore. TT? Initial D, TT? <laughs> um, Sav, is, Sav goes, I'm babe. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. See. Hannah. Midna is coming. We're just making some fine tuning. Some I am sure that there will be a question about Midna in the Q and A. Yeah. And after the Q and A finishes, or oh, Chugsy, maybe you want to write some down as we're going through them. We'll see. Uh, we will sort of answer more of the questions there after the Q and A for like real time Q and A's. Right. All right. Might as well do the Q and A now. Then. Nope. Okay, guys. It is time to go through about three months worth of edition sizes. Are you going to do that first, yeah? Yeah, and then you, yeah. Three months worth of edition sizes I have for you guys. Drum roll, drum roll. Three months worth? Absolutely, because we launched Slayer in March, and here we are We've been at doing the for three end months. of June, <laughs> forgetting every week. So guys, here we go. We're going to kick it off with Solaire exclusive. Get your pens and paper ready. Let us know in the comments right now before we so get you know get ready because I'm gonna be pausing after every single yeah. one to let you put what you think it is. Solaire exclusive does not include Praise the Sun and it includes anything from the Jolly Cooperation pack. So go ahead and let us know in the comments what you believe Solaire exclusive was what are the numbers for a Solaire exclusive let us know in the comments praise the sun edition will be later on so Solaire exclusive a <laughs> <laughs> you may like put me up <laughs> let us know in the comments you may absolutely well, uh, well um you want to uh, say the numbers uh, i say yeah. the names yeah yeah sure you can say the names or well, you can like you know tell them to put the numbers in all right or whatever yeah they're putting the numbers in already all right, so what we got What's here, we've got for? Steven this... Rogers thinks it's a thousand. Solaire exclusive. Yeah, we make make sure you just keep the numbers on Solaire exclusive. Solaire exclusive. Jonathan Dixon thinks five hundred. Nicole thinks eight hundred. Lydia thinks eight hundred. Kevin Morgan says five hundred and fifty. Sav, ever the optimist, says one thousand two hundred. Javon Graves. Well, Sav says eight hundred. Says nine hundred. And we have Avedon saying seven fifty. Dylan thinks it's one. Savage says eight fifty. Robert says six six nine six. And here we go, guys. The number for Solera exclusive is the grand total of eight hundred and twenty-five. So congratulations to Dark Souls fans. It looks like it is going nice and strong. So congratulations on those numbers. 825. So Chucks, this is the next one that you need yeah, guys, to do. Yeah guys, so uh, get the, get the, write this number down so in the future if anyone asks what's the edition size, how many numbers, blah blah, blah then well, they I, you have the information, right? be able to just look on the website when we update it as Yeah, well. but people, <laughs> people don't look at the website. So, uh, you know, tell them to look at the website. It'll be under the uh, description tabs. Yeah. Yeah. Additional information. Right, so this is the next one you want to call that one then. And get PTS. The what's a PTS, guys? What's a PTS, guys? Solaire, PTS. <laughs> it sounds like all you dangalangs need a spanky. <laughs> <laughs> right. Go on, place your bets. What's For the number? Praise the sun. I think they know anyway. I think you mentioned that no. number ages ago. No. Yeah, you did? No. Jolly Combo. Ah. That's right. Well, then they can that, figure that's, out that's what a, it is. That's a hint already, <laughs> yeah. PTS. So, what is it? Uh, Brendan says PTS 350. Joshua says 300. Now remember guys, Javon says 675. The Praise the Sun edition was only available for one, two, three days only. So you have to remember that as well. Avalon, ooh, 1250. Jordan says 650. That's Are you guys betting men, betting ladies? <laughs> oh, look at that. 300, 450, 333, 425, 320. All right, guys, here we go. The answer to the Praise the Sun edition is the grand total of, write it down, guys, 375. 
Congratulations, all in. Very, very happy with how Soler has performed. Mm. Awesome, awesome. So congrats, guys. Three seventy-five for Praise the Sun. Mm. No one's got it. No one's got anything right so far, right? Indeed. Those that have got it right, we will be seeing whether or not you have a connection to my computer. Yes, you <laughs> spies. <laughs> right. You want to do that one? Well, you got to say what we're doing. Are, are, you, are we doing this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is in order, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's in order. Sure? we're doing it in order of when it came out. All right, then. I believe so. That's what you gave it. I just followed it on your list. But yeah, this was like the month of like. Are you like, sure? This is like the. I never went down in the correct order in the list. Though. Oh really? Okay, well fine. Whatever. Just go down this list. It can't be because that's. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Fine. So fine. these guys, these are not in order of uh, launches. Oh, there, yeah. right, uh, right, right. Next one, Tekken Law. So we want you to put the exclusive versions. Obviously, there are two exclusives. To put them all together when you come up with your number, it's sort of easier right. to do that. So Tekken Law, there's uh, two different versions of exclusive. All right, so there's two versions. So uh, guys, tell us what, what number. Place your bets now. <laughs> Why are you checking your wallet? <laughs> I'm thinking we're All right. Or something. If you guys get it correct, you will get a, <laughs> <laughs> a signed 100 Hong Kong dollar. No, it wasn't, it wasn't quite that. Is it, are we, um, Pooja, we, is it okay? Everything yeah, finished? Yeah, 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 okay. All right, let me just. Uh, you yeah, just sort that, sort that table yeah, out. Yeah. Right. All right, guys. Oh, sorry, I do. Sorry. Hmm. Okay. So, right. Uh, Ali Ham Ali Ali says three hundred and seventy-five. Stephen Bennett says two twenty. Benson Trong says five fifty. Joshua says three hundred. Come on, Sav. It's Tekken Law. Mark Johnson says one two five zero. Twelve hundred and fifty Tekkens. Kevin says two two five. Yes, Ryan. Are they both the same number of Rexes? Well, let's say combine. Let's combine the numbers together. Daniel West says 275 exclusives. That would make it faster. 435, 425, 273. Wow. Ryan with an 850. Oh, these numbers are totally. What are we doing? Well, I'm just seeing how quick the, uh, the table goes. <laughs> <laughs> it's rubbing against something, isn't it? The table. Oh, it's always probably against that. Against that, the table. Ah. <sighs> it's definitely slow. It's definitely slow. Sorry, guys. Yeah, Alex is testing, uh, testing his new table. Usually, the motor is the same, so it's the same. It should be the same. Is it? Is it at an angle? Is it at an angle? Is it at an angle? What is it? Like other, other A-frames, like slightly at an angle, so it's not going up smoothly. No, 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 it's nothing to do with that. Can you guys hear that, guys? Don't worry about that. That's right, there's a, a slight construction in the office. We're just uh, assembling a, um, what do you call it, a, a table that, that rises up and down. So, are we done then, yeah? Okay, much appreciated. Thanks very much for, thanks very much. For, thank you. for you know, for so late. Thanks very much. Okay. Much appreciated. Thank you. So uh, the payment. Uh, I already okay. gave it. You gave it to the. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, the, the, the check. I was. I asked really yeah. specifically. They said yes. You're supposed to give it to me. As in, I gave it to the uh, to the guy. To the guy that delivered the table. Sorry, I was not aware. Yeah. Uh, well, this is something that we were told. What are the numbers, guys? <laughs> It's all gone down, it's like 300, and 700, 800, and all that combined. Okay, here we go, guys. He's gonna give you the numbers, and the numbers are. It's cancelled. We are not going to go into production. We did not get enough orders to go into production, so the that statue is unfortunately cancelled because the factory we did not hit the minimum order to go into production. So. That is unfortunate, but it is this thing here. Yeah, yeah your mouse cursor. No, it's not. You know, it's because when I when I turn it off. Well, no, it just turns itself off. So what I need to do is go to. I'm what do I need no, to don't do? worry about it. We're yeah, just going yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, it's probably here. You know what here. Oh, sure. Yes, Ali. <laughs> Unfortunately, turn off chat. 
you know the reset procedure. Uh, I can't remember what is it. You just hold down. You just hold the down button continuously. The table will go down. Still, you keep the pressure on the right. down button, and then suddenly shakes a bit, and then resets. Like that. So why would you, why would you want to reset it? So I would you to just uh, just know the instructions. It could be any reason. I mean, okay, sure. You just take out, out the plug, and then okay, no problem. Reset. It okay. Could be any weird reason. All right. You should know the instructions. All right. Thanks very much. Okay. Um, okay, so that is what is up, guys. Um, thank you. Uh, so, yeah, unfortunately, we could not hit the numbers to go into production, and that is uh, the way of capitalism. <laughs> Supply and demand, that is what is up. Okay, moving on. We are the next one is... Kirby. Kirby. Oh, yeah, sorry, you go. Sorry. Go ahead. All right. So I've got your and you're announcing it and then you're getting the information. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah sorry. So, Fighter Kirby. I don't know why you write Kirby Fighter, but Fighter Kirby. The exclusive version. Hmm. So everyone's been uh, kind of like wanting this Kirby, this that Kirby, and uh, obviously, you know, it's been uh, the, 20, the 20th, right? 20th anniversary. Yeah, yeah, 20th anniversary yeah, for right. Fighter Kirby. So uh, please, guys, tell us what's the numbers for Kirby. 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 So we've got here, and Alex, you were saying 225. Joshua's thinking at 350. Jamie Bex thinks it's cancelled. <laughs> uh, Javon also thinks it's cancelled as well. All right. Jessica says 125. You know, it's it's uh, <laughs> zeroed. <laughs> Trinity, is it Trinity? Trinity, Trinity, right? Trinity. Yeah, Trinity says it's uh, two seventy-five. Avodon thinks think three twenty-five. Philippe thinks it's two two five. Kirby three seventy-five from a Jordan. John Scabler says two. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to give you the answer, and the answer is the grand total of, and this is like just about uh, in terms of going into production or not. The grand total of 200 will be the edition size for the exclusive version. Two hundred. <sighs> so you guys can understand whether or not wh why we are sort of most likely voting Kirby in terms of not fighter Kirby because two hundred is like pretty <coughs> much like <coughs> scraping the barrel to get into production. Also because it's quite simplistic overall, you know, compared to law, for example, that. We sort of like, uh, uh, to be honest with you, could have kind of go either way. But mm, mm. one of the things that we were talking about is whether or not we, like those that saw what we did for Yakuza and Kiryu Kazuma, and that was to whether or not to vote or not to vote, we ran a TT on that. And a future TT possibly could be whether or not we make Warp Star Kirby. So that will be something, and the reason why that is, is uh, you know, we just wanted to have one last to see because the Sword Kirby did okay. Meta Knight did not wonderfully, and Fighter Kirby did horrendously. So a lot of people in the comments have been, oh, if it was, if I was gonna get one version of Kirby, it would be the Warp Star one, etc., etc. Maybe that's what we look in doing. I don't know is the answer. We just will sort of have to sort of see. But in terms of in terms of that, I think we probably owe it to you know Kirby fans, two hundred of you guys, the chance to rally people, perhaps to see whether or not they would be interested in a warp style one. Let us know in the comments if you think that is something that might be of interest to you. Uh, Lisa, we know about the new Kirby game, but it's not like Kirby has never not had new games mm. so always coming out. And we are not really about the new games. We're all about 
the kind of we're, we're more about the kind of like evergreen the sort of evergreen um, it, like as in it doesn't matter if there was a new game that came out or not because yeah. it's like it doesn't matter if it's, I mean a game a new game new trend sure it helps a new game on a new generation and sure it helps it brings in new 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 members but uh, you know if it has character and it has history it doesn't matter whether there's a new game or not yeah that's absolutely right now we were all up for um, Crash Bandicoot <clears throat> Classic and it was like gift from mana of gift from heaven mana from heaven that they made you know Activision yeah. made the insane trilogy to create the buzz around that so that's just you know, and it just amazing. so happens that you know some people like the new remastered version some people prefer the classic version so you know we're catering to both sides but with Kirby you can't really Kirby's like just the same same design right it's just wearing different outfits so right. yeah so right it's much tougher it's much smaller Kirby is definitely a much smaller what a good, good fan base right I'm assuming that's just my assumption right I'm, I'm assuming Kirby is much a smaller fan base a niche fan base compared to Crash Joshua we did not offer it out to regulars <laughs> we did not offer regulars out to wholesalers for law and that's probably to our detriment but hey you we did that to try and boost the numbers on our exclusive it didn't work and that is the price that you pay mm. or I pay or we pay for even if we had regular no, even if a, the retailer for law I don't think it would have done really well anyway yeah, and also we don't make any money on those anyway. True, so, yeah. but it would have boosted the numbers up to go into the MOQ. But, you know, the exclusive numbers were just, in indeed. Mm. Yeah. Well, you know, you win some, you lose some. Indeedy, indeedy, and of course, week in review. Can we just have a shout out to Uncle, not to Uncle Scabs, but obviously to Sav, Ephra Famous for. <clears throat> doing that poll or that, that post which basically told everybody to enter all their mates in and join the club uh, and we're getting tantalizingly close to the 25k so one of the things that we've been doing is working on the reveal triggers <laughs> so that's pretty uh, pretty crazy mm -hmm. so yeah all right should we go to the next one then yep I think that's it right yep next one yep. Amaterasu life-size bus can everyone remember that? That was only just recent. Uh, life-size bus. First ever life-size bus from First of Figures. Oh, yep. Oh, Kami Amaterasu. Go on, tell us what's your number. For those that just join us now, what's the hashtag? Hashtag FRF47 for a chance win. 500 reward points. Next week chosen a random by Chol. That's right. So uh, Benson Trunk says 450 for the life size bus. What is up, Kevin? Thank you South very much. Cancers, for joining. less than 300 more to go. <laughs> this is off topic there. Uh, any numbers? Robert says 1000. Javon says 675. Jono says this is going to be around 400, I think. Chandler says bus 550. Maria says six fifty. Come on, anyone? Any more guesses, guys? What is up, Mona Lisa? I don't even know what happened last week because yes. there was no confirmation whatsoever. Zero about a possible yeah. Princess Zelda. <laughs> what was that? That's right. Hey, so Trinity Trinity says six hundred fifty. Abaddon says two seventy five. Nicole with a 575 mm. so it's quite interesting because uh, you know usually if you've been in the market long enough you know that bus sometimes Jono that wasn't made by us mm. bus that was made by Triforce bus sometimes sell much lower than statues because obviously the size the cost but uh, it'd be interesting to see uh, the numbers for ours Jordan says bus 325 Sav, this bus will not get voted. He's confident. What is up, Marcus? Thanks for joining us. Okay, guys, drum roll and the total number for the exclusive edition of Amaterasu Life Size Bus is the grand total of one, okay. not one, not two, but the grand total of 300 pieces 
for the Yamato Ratsu life size bust, and you know that is for us. We're very happy with that because obviously it was a, a great investment for those that bought it. And with those numbers actually being quite low, it should help raise the price of those over time as well. Mm. So uh, yeah, congratulations to those who bought the Amateur Ratsu life size bust. The edition size is set at three hundred pieces. All right. Next one. Link versus Servo, the diorama set. Come on, has, it, has, it, has anyone that have bought it <laughs> should <laughs> actually see what it says yeah. on the base. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Much right. appreciated. See Bye. you next week. Link versus Servo. Link diorama. versus Servo diorama that is in the Sunship base and the PVC Skyward Sword Link and the PVC Skyward Sword Scurvo. Let us know right. what you think that edition size was, but I'm pretty sure, like, you know, people yeah, ask me that. Know. I have to look that up. Yeah, yeah, people keep asking. So, uh, Mr. Guzman says 500. Brendan says, whoa, what happened to the message there? Brendan says 500. What is up, Nick? We are showing guts at Anime Expo on the Crunchyroll booth. Make sure you check it out on the 1st of July in the club. I'm sure there will be people posting the info. Yeah, take some pictures, guys. Take some pictures all the way around, 360. Take, take a video shot as well, going all the way around. So uh, for those that can't join the show, the event, uh, it'd be nice to have uh, that posted in the Collectors Club as well and all the other Berserk groups and pages out there. Right, Nicole says 475. Cedric says 400. Javon says 480, Jordan says 225, Jamie says 455, David with a 425, and Austin Paul with 150. So, the answer is... The grand total of 500 on the box that says 500, that is the answer. For the diorama set, the full set. Moving along, the Sandship base. The Sandship base on its own. On its own. So let me just go see how that render is coming along because I'm shitting myself. <laughs> <laughs> right, the Sandship base. Do, 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 do. Channel uh, 325. Ricky says 500. Daniel says it's over 9,000. Sorry? 81. 81. Uh, that's right, between 2 and 3 o'clock. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Abaddon. Anime Expo, AX. There will be Guts, the grey the gray version, the grey print of Guts will be shown at the show. So uh, please check out some of the photos and the videos that will be posted by hopefully some of the club members that are going to the show. And uh, definitely everyone give us your feedback uh, because uh, we would love to hear from you all. Indeed, yes. and the answer to the Sanship base is the grand princely sum of 100. So super, super rare. It is. And now, this is an example where even, I would have, if even, I had thought about mm -hmm. it, I would have done it the same way that we did the Praise the Sun right. and the, ex the Slow Exclusive, where it would have been one production run, right. but I, I wasn't clever enough back then to figure out how to do that. In a new scenario, uh, Link vs. Servo, Diorama, and Sandship Base would be the same production run, mm -hmm. and depending on what you wanted to order and yeah. when you ordered it, it would have been the exact same we did Solera X mm -hmm. and Praise the Sun. But hey, that improves, that implies I'm getting smarter. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's less than uh, look, Lucky Cat Mario. Indeed. Mm. Indeed. Awesome. Right. Last but not least, everyone's been waiting for that. Sonic 25th. What's the number? How, how does the game over sound go again? Yeah, it's really slow. <laughs> Let us know what you think the 25th anniversary Sonic Edition size is. Uh, let us know. Sorry, that's your bit. Yeah. <laughs> you do it's that. Like, it's like everything you say is like, what? <laughs> it's like drag it on. Yeah, yeah. Right. I do this sort of when I come back. Sort of. 
talk with a sort of singing sort of like mm. right. oh wow numbers are coming in Stephen Bennett 600 Sonics Dylan with a 425 Kevin with a 625 Javon with a 825 Michael Bono with a 650 Kevin Morgan 850 Alex Hughes 835 James Bennington 750 Ooh, ambitious Nicole 1125 Jono says huh, please be gentle hmm Alex Tula, nearly 25k members. These numbers are insane. I really wish people would put their money where their mouths are. What is up, Neo Dragon? Right, Ricky Underdog, 650 and beyond. Nicole goes, wait, 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 800. Travis with a 1100. Let this one play out a bit longer. Let people put all their information. Yeah. This is freshly in their mind. Robert, 575. Another Robert, 1500. Greg, 1500. Marcus. Sonic with the four ones. Jordan. Sonic 25th, 675. Wow, what's this? 685 99. 68,599? No. <laughs> He's saying 685.99. Yeah. <laughs> Ashley, 1500. Derek, 1250. Wow, everyone's going out the numbers. Kirk, 500. So, Jono, who, let's just, can I just want to focus in on what Jono's saying? Right. Jono says, Going to cautiously say 450. Now, Jono is, uh, you know, been with me along with Alex, and I talked about him in the in the making of documentary that we've been. You know, he was the original. Him, him, and him and Alex were the original guys that were with me, sort of before we had, definitely before we had the club, and it was helping on my behalf to update the. The, the Facebook main page. That's when we didn't have the club. This is the Facebook main page. And is a huge, both of them are huge Sonic fans and it's very near and dear to their hearts. So when we told him, or when I told him, or told them that Sonic was in danger and it all rested down onto the 25th anniversary, whether or not it would be voted or not, the naturally there would be a, a sort of um, you know, trepidation. So, you know, obviously Jono is, uh, he, he's uh, saying 450, he is obviously really rooting for Sonic itself. Uh, but yes, okay guys, so, uh, what, what, what video is going to be up later? What, what, what? I don't know, I've just seen something from Wendy. So guys, if you just joined us, there will be two videos a little bit later on after the stream goes down, uh, goes over, uh, is over. And that will be the Crash Making of documentary over one hour and 15 minutes of goodness about talking all there is to know about the Crash 9-inch PVC along with a making of behind the scenes assembly line when I went to the factory. And if you watched my version that I did for Breath of the Wild, you will see I just narrate what is happening on the production line. It's a bit of behind the scenes, so you can better understand how these products are made and how we go from that into something a bit more normal looking. Mm -hmm. So, going back to Sonic 25th, the answer is... <laughs> All you lip readers, I'll try that one more time. Let us know in the comments, can you read lips? What is the number? Actually, I made a mistake. <laughs> I actually made a, I said, <laughs> instead of, <laughs> sorry guys, let's try that again. <laughs> what did I say? One more time. What is up, guys? <laughs> this was this was correct. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I know a few of them. Yeah, because I made a mistake. There you go. <laughs> one last time, because I made a mistake the first time. This is the correct one. I want to actually see how it looks like when I do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's quite obvious, isn't it? Yeah. The answer is for those that were um, not gifted lip readers, 
The answer is 875. Absolutely blown away by the support. Mm. After Silver, it was quite depressing for us. And, you know, this really spurred the conversation about Warp Star Kirby because, you know, obviously we weren't too happy with how Silver performed. And to go from Silver to 25th anniversary getting to 875 has just been an absolute fantastic response. And we are super super grateful to all the Sonic fans that have given us the support to allow us to absolutely continue with the line. Mm -hmm. We are so, so, so grateful and very, very excited about the future for Sonic. Uh, so much appreciated for those that did purchase. Thanks for those who spread the word, even if you didn't purchase it, you know, and just spreading the word of F4F is much appreciated in itself. So congratulations to those that are Sonic fans. Sonic is most certainly not vaulted. Very, very happy about that. What do you think about that, Trox? Yeah, I mean, as, as I said all along, it, Sonic is the main character, you know, and everyone wanted a classic. People missed out on the old classic one, you know, the one with this point, point in the nose. People missed out on that. This is the first classic, and it's a, for a, in, in a long time, and it's an, an anniversary piece as well. I said it has to. It has to have those numbers. You know, when it when, when when it went to 500, I was like still not happy about it. But when it went to like 600, 700, 800, yeah, I was you know it has to hit, meet those numbers because you think about the secondary characters, right? If those second characters get less than like 400, then then you know it is what it is, you know. But it sh those secondary characters should be hitting 500s, right? Because Sonic is the main character; he should be hitting way higher than that. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, yeah, very pleased. I mean, you know, Sega, Sega themselves, Sonic Social themselves. They've been they've been very supportive. I mean, uh, James and the other guys have been streaming not just not just Mega Man as well. They've been streaming weekly on Sonic as well over the weekends. We know you have Javon. I much yeah. appreciate it. And this is what I'm it's saying. Everyone. Everyone's been placing you know spreading the word as well. Yeah. People that didn't want people who were not Sonic fans were actually buying it because they loved the uh, the idea of the uh, infinity you know the the, 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 the running uh, animated lights as well the the spinning pole you know it's 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 a classic scene oh, we're under no illusion that quite a lot of people purchased it for it to be their one and only Sonic piece in their collection to represent their height their childhood we are selling the nostalgia and we're under no illusions that a lot of people are doing that just that so we're realistic about the future in terms of that, but as I said, it gave us pause to think about whether or not, and I've seen it before, where people talk about Kirby and having the one representative piece in their gaming collection of statues being Warp Star Kirby, you know, a standard Kirby, not a power mm. Kirby. So mm. Mm. that is something that we would be interested to see how it goes in the TT for a Warp Star Kirby. Uh, because that principle has come from the 25th anniversary Sonic. Yeah, so definitely, I mean, like for that situation, it's definitely a hashtag save F4F Kirby. You know, with, like same goes with uh, Shenmue as well. Save F4F Shenmue, you know, and all the others. You know, I mean, when we say that, we really mean it. So uh, you know, awesome support. I, mean, I I I don't just hang around the club as well. I go to all the other pages and groups and stuff, and I see people putting that hashtag in there. You know, it, it means business. They? they they really care about the franchise, and actually to see the fans go out there and hey guys, these guys are they these guys need the help. The line needs the help, and uh, to actually see those people from other groups joining into the group and actually voting the poll, you know, it makes a big difference. And uh, you know, it, 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 I definitely like seeing that on a daily basis. You know, from like kind of like people coming together. So, uh, and this is the beauty of this community. I've got to, you know, you know, obviously that is an absolute bang on point there, Chox, where you see it happen with Zero, you see it, people rallying and, you know, and it's almost like, you know, this community for me, it's like, it's a win for the team. It's not a win for us, it's mm. a win for the team. It's a win for, and I really feel that everyone's so involved with these pieces that when, yeah. You know, I see people when they, you know, in the comments, Jono saying he could cry. You know, it's because, you know, is invested in the future of the FRF Sonic line, and from for us, it's incredibly humbling to be 
to to be able to sort of guide that and hopefully have you know have a prosperous line that keeps on going and uh, you know we really appreciate the fact we really appreciate the situation that we're in and you know take it with great seriousness you know yeah, I mean, definitely. I'm not going to do a Spider-Man quote. No, I'm <laughs> no, just no. saying, like, like I always say, like, you save others to save yourself, right? So you help each other's lines. All right, can we just have a moment? I see Stephen Reynolds has joined us, the number one f for f in the house. Stephen Reynolds, what is going on, mate? Thank you very much for joining us. I don't actually see Stephen that often All right. on the Is it streets. the right Stephen Reynolds? Of course it bloody is. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know if there were more than one Stephen Reynolds, possibly. Mm. But it was great. I mean, like I said, I was, uh, I've seen other people supporting lines that they normally don't buy. They say, right. yeah, I love this line. I mean, love the, 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 the reaction, how people care about the line. Yeah. So they end up supporting that line. And then in the future, hopefully, it ref you know, other people will it support. Everybody gets yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely, guys. So. That is what is up. Those who just joined us, make sure you put in the comments one word, a hashtag F4F47. I'm assuming Mona Lisa's asking about yeah, it, yes? Quite a few <laughs> good, yeah. <laughs> um, so, absolutely, guys, we are rocking and rolling with the necks in the line, and we are deep in development with metal. And some of the things we've been thinking about is, you know, if you like the idea of the title screen that what Chopper was put in the club, it said 200, there's 230 there. That's not enough. Boost it up to 450, 500. Then we're talking and we can make that a reality. And also I'm thinking of, you know, the next thing is the, um, the, Son yeah, the Sonic and Tails uh, <laughs> classic, you know, the, the helicopter scenes on that. Mm -hmm. So that is basically what is up. Uh, it, it is Steven Reynolds, the right. Steven Reynolds. What is up, mate? Are you looking forward towards Bowser? I know you were... Uh, you still want for me to sign that? What is up, Stephen? Thanks for joining us. So, we are, and those, you know, just because uh, Stephen's here, just to say shout out to Canadians, your shipment is going off soon. Mm. We had a bit of uh, sort of customs issues because there is a battery inside. King of Red Lines are like, oh, it's dangerous. Like, it is not dangerous. We had to go through a lot of customs back and forth on that. Oh, did, did Sonny tell you He's, about the new, the new, because. It's been cause, 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 no, no, because he didn't realize it was a removable rechargeable and he said it's, it'll be even cheaper if we did it separately you mean didn't have it in there is it currently like stuck in there it's not stuck it's removable you can yeah no, i know it's removable but is it not packaged separately it's packaged in a, in, in in a separate hole you know it's packaged with the, so the isn't USB that what you mean then? no no literally a, a separate package why well, i don't understand as in, like, ship, ship the King of Red Lines. You, you can't be expecting the factory stuff, like the website. What, how, would you, how would you even pack that? A um, little brown box or something. Oh, fuck that. No, way. It's way cheaper. I don't know. Way cheaper? That's what it says. No. Have, I don't Think know. about, like, the other it, side it, in it, America or, like, in Canada. They're going to have to, like, pay for two shipments. Can't have a, you know, that's where we're going to get absolutely no, rich. I don't know. Uh, no, to I work out the cost. Yeah, have a word with Sonny because he right, says it's going to be cheaper. I mean, yeah. even if it two separate shipping costs, it might be, it might still end up being cheaper. Guys, Yoshimitsu is not cancelled. That is still going ahead, and we have high hopes for Yoshimitsu. James Bennington, can you give me the AMI numbers? The life size bus, right? The life size bus is three hundred. Boom. So that is so they're getting King of Red Lions, they're getting King, getting um, yeah, and then the uh, other Cut Mario, yeah, some the other stuff and as then well. some Sandship bases yeah, as well, some, some Artorias, yeah, as well, yeah, like yeah. That. But, so, yeah. The, but the two new ones are definitely well, three new ones. Uh, look at Cat Mario, the Tekken King, King, and King of Red Lions. King of Red all Lions. going to Canada first. Would you, you know, would you look at that? How cool is that? Now, obviously, Canada sometimes it's too late. Sometimes in this case. Yeah. It's way ahead of Hopefully everyone. there's no snow or blizzard or whatever like last time. Oh, that was mental, wasn't it, yeah. in Canada? There was yeah. like some crazy cold weather or something. Mm. Uh, yeah, it was something that was up. And it was like some crazy backlog. All right, guys. Babs, thanks so much for joining us. Chocks, let's hit the Q&A and shout out. You wanna, where do you want to read it? You want to read it there? No, no, no. I just mean you want to give a shout out to... Oh, about how that, huh? What? The shout out. The shout out in the Q and A. No, I know you've written that, right? But I'm saying, you know, just want to, you know, this, this, this oh, this that bit. shout yeah. out. Oh yeah, my yeah, goodness, like, so many shout outs. Yeah, so yeah, guys. How that came down, and that's all cool. Yeah, yeah. So, 
obviously I posted. Because it's, it's not actually that clear that that's what's happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. So basically, uh, yesterday I made a post in the club saying it's preview Friday. Today's the day. Uh, obviously, it's going to be Crash Bandicoot, the nine-inch PVC, and uh, big up to uh, Jessica Castic, our admin. Uh, we had some like one-on-one -on -one conversations, and uh, obviously, we were trying to understand. We knew trying to understand no no more about each other and uh, obviously uh, she she works be she works in in this in uh, in the film industry let's call it that way uh, so uh, we've been having some one-on-one -on -one chats and uh, obviously she knew we were working on some uh, crash bandicoot video uh, trailer and I thought hmm this is interesting well, we've done the internet we've done the YouTube right it's like what, what what would the crash trailer look like on a cinema screen Right, so the, the video that you see in the actual post that was recorded in a cinema screen. I'm not sure how big the screen is, but it's definitely a cinema screen. If you look carefully, yeah. you can see the sort of like exit lights, yeah. sort of like dimly showing, yeah. and some along along the floor. And you know, it's the biggest screening ever, right? Amazing. Yeah. So uh, absolutely cool. Yeah, I wish we were there to actually watch it. And um, so there, yeah, awesome. So much love. Thank you yeah. very much, Jessica. Really appreciate that. That was a very, very, very cool thing to see. Big smile on my face. Um, I thought that was most excellent indeed. Mm. Nice. Hey, look at it. You can see it playing in the background here. It looks awesome. So you guys, go ahead and re-watch that video just now that you know it's in an Amatha cinema. And, uh, you know, that's, that's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Next time though, Jessica, make sure there's people in there. Before, like, massive, like, I don't know, <laughs> before, like, before, like, uh, Wonder Woman or something. <laughs> premiere of that. <laughs> Just slip it in there. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, and time to kick off the Q&A. If there are any questions, I'm going to be focusing directly on my screen with regards to right. the questions. Chocks, have so, a look at so, the questions. So, be so be before we start on the Q&A, just make sure you stick around uh, because we are going to show, because it's preview Friday, of course. we are going to show Crash, the PVC statue. We're going to go through some of the details about the launch, how things are going to work. Time to check the render. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> and also, uh, you know, I'll go through some of the, the, the payment plans, right? Yeah, we can go through some of the payment payment plans. Uh, PayPal, how's that going to work? 46 minutes. 46 minutes for what? For the render Oh, right, okay. I'll check back in 44 minutes and I'll be like, oh, I'm crashed. <laughs> oh, I thought, you, I thought you said check Brenda. Brenda? Yeah, you actually meant check the render. Render? Yeah, it sounded like Brenda. No, like, Brenda. <laughs> check the render. Yeah, right. yeah so uh, yeah, guys, so uh, let's start with the Q&A and then we'll follow with the crash stuff. Absolutely, yeah. guys. Okay, let us do I'll check on just these, uh, that. All right, you just check on the comments I'll check over on there the comments and here, if there's yeah. anything you might know or just stop me or anything like that. All right. Any other questions that you want to guarantee be answered, put it in the post now. South Cantus asking, this should kick us over 25k. Perhaps so, we're gonna put advertising budget against the uh, video for the, for the, um, you know, the documentary. Hopefully that will bring in more people. So fingers crossed, 25k, but you guys know the rules. We hit 25k, we've got a plus one week. Because first of all, we weren't even expecting this for a few, I would say, realistically. Oh, come on, guys. 25k for this 25th q and <laughs> It'll be perfect. <laughs> it's quite possible. It's quite possible. Um, next question, Sav Cantus. How is the Ornstein X coming along? And the answer is, it is moving. It is coming. James Bennington, after Crash, uh, you know, and I say that, with great pride because it was not moving for many months. James Bennington, after Crash and Spyro hit, what's on the horizon for these licenses? So, for Crash, there is going to be a life-size Aku, Aku mask. There is the, uh, obviously, the Crash Classic cra Crash Resin. For Spyro, one of the things that uh, we are sort of working on some things in the background but only very sort of not too much development wise we wanted to see how Spyro does because it is completely new and likewise for Crash we are really looking at how it's going to perform for the PVC on the 27th of June 
because that will be an indication for how classic crash comes along and you know at least a soft indicator for that and it's something that we are really focusing on and looking very closely at so spyro being not too far behind means that we're not too long in finding out whether or not there is actually any spyro fans now when we put some stuff on spyro in the club there's usually quite a lot of buzz about it yep. but you know it all comes down to whether or not i can turn his frown upside down when it comes to the launch day he's not even smiling about sonic so you know let's see what is that i'm very hard to please yeah absolutely mm. absolutely okay moving on we have ryan fincher when we will see the resin statue for crash and spiral well the answer to that is Crash is still in the approval stage with Activision. The ones that you saw of the face last time, I actually submitted it and I got some feedback. And some of the feedback was I needed to make the ears slightly bigger, and I agree with that. And uh, but in terms of the actual face, there wasn't too much stuff. There were some other things here and there, and it was more to do with the exclusive version. What what? Um, so that is coming along nicely. And Spyro is with Activision for approval waiting on that before we can start the marketing fingers crossed on that and that is nicely painted with these on it and this is obviously just a sample from before you would have seen that from from before so moving on to mm. miranda sykes what is up miranda a lovely ad so she highlights the fact that jessica's video it's hard to see that it's actually in a cinema, but it is, and it, and uh, indeed, it would be awesome if we could have it. And we said, you know, the full cinema experience, and someone kicking the back of my chair <laughs> with the popcorn. Ashley Pace, how's it going? Whoa, Jim's Z. It's an amazing video in all aspects. Shout out to Jessica on that. Jerry Beerson, did you have it play before the movie? <clears throat> I would love for Wonder Woman audiences to randomly get hit with Crash. And that is absolutely what I suggested as well. But unfortunately, that was not the case. But maybe some other time. Quinn. I would like to be there, but not yet sure if I will be awake in time. Quinn, are you awake? He says that every single week. <laughs> Set your alarm. He says... Would you give us some more info about this Breath of the Wild exclusive link? I saw a lot of positive vibes on that LED boat based post, but also some irritation. So, all I will say about that is, guys, uh, a lot of people remember what happened with Darunia, and that was Darunia regular and Darunia exclusive, which happened afterwards. I will, all I will say about that is, PVCs are... A PVCs are how shall I say this known for variants and I won't really classify those as the same as doing it for the exclusives uh, sorry for the resins because they are that much more for the resins so I can pretty much understand it for that but to be clear with no with um, to be clear without being too obvious about it, the exclusives that would be exclusive to us will make a significant difference for us. And that is why we talked about Classic Crash um, having the exclusive, sorry, not Classic Crash, uh, exclusive Crash PVC and having this launch on the 27th this Tuesday. It's so important for us. It's a watershed moment for us to understand where this is going with the regulars going out there being that much cheaper in the marketplace versus having the more expensive exclusive version with the limited edition um, base with the authenticity card and the gorgeous packaging what does that actually mean the there is a huge difference between the support well anyways I don't want to go on about that too much and the so, reward points sure 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 sure, sure. Yes. but in terms of from our point of view yeah it's very important that we see what the, be the, the, the benchmark for that is. In terms of the exclusive link, we would, would never just make a, another version that just had extra lights in it. It would probably be a completely different sort of variant 
that looked significantly different. So it wasn't you know quite the same. But it's not really something that we're working on. We did actually make a you know a a uh, you know a working sample of the base, but you know whether or not we vaulted is something that we're not even focusing on it right now, to be honest with you. So you know. Uh, it was just like an offhand comment I made on that guy's post. I can't remember his name. Mm. Uh, it was a fantastic post he yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And did you hit him with his 500 rule points yet? I bookmarked his name. Cool. I haven't given the points yet. Cool. I've so it was him. just a example. Uh, it was an offhand comment. And I totally blew up to more than it should have. And I should have thought about that. And should have made a bit of my tongue. So you just wanted to say about that. One other question. With Spiral coming up soon, I believe, what is the status of the prototype? Is it ready and waiting, etc, etc? The answer is, it is with the Big A. Miranda Sykes, I have seen some questions about the edition size for Law and Sonic 25th. If you have those handy, could you please announce them? Boom! Already answered. Brenton Fridelli, does King of Red Lion have a detailed shipping date yet? Like the beginning, end, or middle of July? Well, it's the beginning of July, if not the end of June for Canadians. And I need to ask Sunny for the remaining, but it's very soon. They're all sort of like going out. Give or, wait, uh, give or, give or take a week or two between them. That's right. Brendan Rastello, any updates on when Aika will be up for pre-order? Was hoping to see her up on the updated pre-order calendar. TV, ON TV. Indeed. Now Aika is right at that stage where we haven't pressed the button on making her physical. Because I feel like maybe she needs to have a bit of a TT. Because you can see the pain that we went through with Fighter Kirby, the pain that we went through with Law, and it is absolutely painful. I am pretty sure that Ica will not get any support at wholesale level. Ica. Vice did not really get much support at wholesale, but he was really well received at website and that was 425 of those back then before we had 20 people when we had three or four people 425 advice was just next level Ica, i'm not feeling the love do we go ahead and get orders of sub you know 200 with no support from the from the from the wholesale and the answer is I think it's a very real possibility so I am hesitating and maybe we need to do these with TTs so we did it with Kinryu Kazuma and it was not worth our effort to remake him mm. based on those numbers right now mm. uh, will it be our is it worth our efforts to keep on going with Warp Star you know, we'll have to find that out hey let us know whether or not you want to fight for Aika because uh, you guys can see the real pain that we go through when that is done. Yep. So the Sega All Stars line. That's what you're talking about. It is for for uh, Ica. Correct. Yep. But you know, forget about what star. You know, if it's the All Stars range or anything like that. No, so I'm just saying some people might not know who, 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 I, who she even is. Yeah, I'm saying because exactly. there's, there's so not many support in the club. From Skies of Arcadia. That's right. And if that doesn't mean anything to you. This is the reason. Okay, so moving on, we have a uh, Chadwick, Sh uh, Chadwick Shepherd. Please consider Coco Bandicoot, Tawana Bandicoot, or Shante as a figure. So two Bandicoots and a Shante. Go and vote for Shante in the TT. Mm -hmm. Currently, at the moment, is 198. Dada says yes. And no says 260, so 258 or 57. Come back to us when that hits 450 and then we can have another conversation about Shante. Okay, moving on. Alessio Bucci. What is the process of making a statue? And the answer to that has been answered in the Crash Bandicoot um, video, please do watch that. I go into a bit of detail on that. 
Um, but, you know, why not? Why don't I just quickly go through this? Because I will answer every single TT, uh, every other question on the Q&A. But I do go into it in some more detail with regards to Crash itself. Ask licensor for the statue. The answer is, first of all, try and get a license. Then it's ask the licensor for the statue. <laughs> then it's initial concept, correct. Sometimes we don't give them the initial concept, depending on what the licensor is, because we know what certain licensors are like. Maybe they, they, they don't have too much input, or we just go straight to the, maybe we skip the 2D concept or, or, or not. So 2D or 3D goes next, then it's approved from the licensor, correct. Statue is then printed, correct. Engineering on the electronic separations, all that sort of stuff, is not done until it's been printed. Yeah, put it oh, I see, yeah, you yeah. can cut it at, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can cut it at 3D as well, that's correct. Uh, you then duplicate it, you must duplicate the tooling master, that, uh, or the paint master, so, or, or the, yeah, or the 3D print, to create the paint prototype, Yes, get a license or approval from the then, and then get the factory to quote it, absolutely, pre-order, production, assembly, Bob's your uncle, absolutely. Will we ever see um, Alessio Bucci's first five figures? Let us know in the club. <laughs> uh, but absolutely, just as simple as one, two, three, boom. Anto Jambon, hi guys. Is this easier or harder for you to work on PVC figures? And just because someone is going to ask anyway, any news from the big end on midnight. So the answer for that is PVC is generally much easier because it is more price sensitive and we focus more on the figure. We don't need to think about too much about the base. We keep the base more simplistic in order to keep the prices lower, etc., etc. So the the expectations of PVC are lower based on the price and of course if we could do the custom, you know the, the character justice is the most important thing so we find it's easier to work on PVC because when we're making something in PVC we're pretty much banking that it's going to be something that does well so when you see the effort that you put into making a PVC and it sells you know, tens of thousands of pieces versus the effort that we put into law and see it get cancelled, it's, you know, therefore that much more rewarding on a PVC in terms of that. Um, you know, so that's, that's and also, uh, you know, in terms of reward, you know, rewarding, I love, love, love seeing people say, hey, never knew about you guys until I picked up that Breath of the Wild link yep. in Best Buy, in wherever it is, came to the club, here I am, oh my god, you guys do all these other stuff in resin, etc, etc. That is something that I just love to see. Here I am, here I go. <laughs> Are you singing Fuji's? <laughs> well, you said, here I am. <laughs> Ready or not, yeah. here I am. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, ready or not, here I come. Here, I, here come. I come. Ready or not, here I come. Gonna find you and say... Mm. Yeah. Right, Stephen Rogers. <laughs> <clears throat> We're nearing Dante Pio. Can you give a very broad hint at the X? I really need to know if I'm going to want to buy two or if the X will be a complete package. Uh, the answer is everything in the X will be in the regular... Nope. Everything in the regular will be in the X, and everything that's in the X will not be on the regular. Boom! Andreas uh, Paul, um, Paul Litz. Tomorrow, now today is my 30th birthday. Congratulations! Nice. Happy birthday. And most likely I will miss the stream because I have to go to a company party. Andreas, where are you? Andreas is usually one of the very first people to be joining this stream. So he clearly is at his company party. Yeah, going water skiing and having a barbecue afterwards. Absolutely. Lucky man. Um, so my only question is, if there is this bayonet in the work, would you make the 2009 or 2014 version of this mostly sharp bayonet? I think the 2014 version is more sharpened. <laughs> that is a very 
interesting conversation and we have had this conversation with National Geographic quite a few times and if the discussions that we've having result in getting a license for a bayonet it is more likely that we would go with the sort of ones that were earlier like World War One sort of era mm -hmm. the earlier ones is most likely the ones that we've sort of been talking and then sort of go for the the World War Two ones yeah. later on that's the conversation we've been having with National Geographic probably but there might be a new bayonet well, if World, there's a World, World War Three, you yeah. know, um, there's been rumors of a World War Three. Well, <laughs> going that on is for quite a while. Long in while. the <laughs> northern Korean uh, Korean Peninsula, um, Kim Jong Un, if you're watching this, uh, let's sort be, us out with the new bayonet. Uh, <laughs> no, the wrong license. No, because it's still with National Geographic as a license. So, but I'm just saying, let's be friends and. You know, as I see people um, having a bit of a fisticuff in the club, just have to diffuse it by just saying, why can't we all be friends? <laughs> <laughs> so indeed, I hope there is not a, a, um, a World War Three, but uh, you can best believe that if there is one, we will be discussing it with National Geographic. Okay, moving on, we have Randy Gerard. Last week you showed us the Dragon Slayer. Thank you for that. You're very welcome. I can already see it's going to be amazing. Peace. Mucho gracias. Are the, ha are the handle and chain links planned to be connected to the blade or are they separable? And the answer is in the pose you see. He is holding it in his hand and you know that the chain is unclasped. That is how he holds it in over the back mode and he's not holding it over his back. So it will be hanging down. Keep an eye out, July the 1st, AX. Anime Expo 2017, go to LA, check that out. James Benning, uh, but for your, yes, James Bennington. With the group being so close to 25K, are you guys feeding the pressure to wow us even more? What? We try. What's this? A James Bennington? A James Bennington, yeah. Hmm. All right. We always put pressure on ourselves to wow you guys where we can, when we can. Under pressure. <laughs> Got Queen going on now, yeah? Um, so, of course, we have a high stand for ourselves. We are also aware that we've taken a step back in terms of, you know, last year in Vegas, I was like a kid in the candy shop. This year in Vegas, didn't pick up anything new. So still some, there was still a couple of tempting licenses. To Absolutely, get. but what yeah. I'm trying to say is, because we were picking up so much new then, yeah. and we've not picked up anything new now, and it takes that much more to us to focus on getting something new. Yeah. You know, and for example, Hell seeing that four, you know, that four fifty is making us, you know, pay attention. It's mm. coming out of the, um, you know, coming, you know, it's coming out of the crowd, for example. It means that we don't have so much stuff left in the wings. We have five different licenses to announce, but you know there isn't like you know obviously before the twenty k we had that crash and Spyro license to announce. You know obviously it was more of seven etc etc. So the as we go to the twenty five k's at thirty k whether or not we would have already announced the other ones or not because sometimes do we wait for 30k or do we announce it because we have to have commitments to our licensors but these are all sort of different things that we have to consider so the answer is yes there's always pressure on us to wow you guys and as it should be we do we do not want to rest on our laurels we always are pushing well, we each other we, to yeah we always put ourselves on the other side of the fence so we want to be wild as well right when we're making this stuff of course we do yeah of course we do and it's something that we always pay attention to it's something that we we know we hold the dreams and hopes of many people that have their favorite that we have the rights of their favorite franchises mm -hmm. and we want to make sure that we do it justice every single time you know we want people to be excited when we announce a new license because they know that what we've done for other licenses and how it can translate to theirs and with nothing 
there would be nothing worse in my mind than announcing something and everyone would be uber excited about that and then when we give the piece out, they're like, oh shit, it's not what I wanted or what I expect from FRF. So your expectations of us raises our level as well and pushes for us to do what we can when we can. <clears throat> So, moving on to Mark Johnson, the two statue reveals on 25k pre-order schedule. <laughs> I never thought to do a Banjo and then Kazooie. Who are those guys? I only know Kanjo and Bazooie. And just, just to add to that, there's no two statue reveals at the calendar. That, the one that's in 2018, that's just a placeholder. Well, what it is, is when we announce the 25k license it's clear that it's going to have more than one character in the line so it's going to be in q3 we're going to be you know obviously you're going to be announcing it you know in the next couple of weeks and the first in that statue line is going to be in 2000 you know in q3 and the next one is going to be in q1 next year so it's not like we are doing not announcing more than one, it's just, That's right, yeah. it's once we say what that license is, it's going to be clear that there is more than one mm. in the line. Oh, a Daniel Davis. Chocks, get Alex to see my messages. Please? <laughs> is it my brother? That's my bro. Yeah. <laughs> you see your messages what, on, on Facebook? I don't know, you got to just get, see my messages. On WhatsApp? That's my bro. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? What right now? Miss uh Miss uh Miss No. What? What's this? What's this? What's what word is that? What? Oh Michaels. <laughs> yeah. Oh is it? Oh you're saying you're saying yeah. What is up Daniel? Thanks very much for joining us. If you see Daniel Davis, it is my big bro. He is a doctor saving lives in the UK. If he is the most, he is like the world's leader on the sort of identifying about delirium having an <laughs> impact on dementia, being a soft marker, and he's doing tons of research, he's doing um, all these studies about understanding if you have delirium, what is the impact on when, when it, you know, when you have dementia, in order to, in order to to um, in order to understand that you have to be monitoring someone in high risk so uh, that is the, the high messages? risk <laughs> no well, no what, is it, what message does he have to say no but did you see his messages i only saw that he said michelle's oh, maybe just right. to say oh so you left a message here then oh uh, i'm just go see my message see well i'm just assuming that you just said the michelle's i don't know if there's oh, any other messages um so basically in order to understand how delirium has an effect on dementia, you have to be following those that are high risk of getting dementia, sorry, getting delirium, and to see <laughs> when that leads for them to be getting dementia. So we're talking like a 5, 10, 15 year study. So shout out to anybody who is likely to get delirium and go into dementia. Hit up my brother so you can be included in the study. Let me know, Danny, if I made a mistake on that or not. <laughs> has he gone anywhere? Um, Steve, Steve when is zero, guys. We are working. Uh, we are working on zero. That will come. Yeah. So zero has to be remade. We have to invest money, and we're doing it to remake the prototypes because they were pretty much destroyed. And because of your commitment to us, in terms of at least getting to the stage where we can reintroduce it, it is our commitment to you to invest the money to even even if it's likely. No, not likely, but you know, even if it, there's a real possibility that it still gets zeroed, that we we invest back into the community by making this and you know and doing that. Okay. So <laughs> Mark Johnson continues and says, "How's the browser blind pre-order looking?" And the answer is uh, still not ready for that. It's a, uh, it's a it's quite a difficult thing to do in the background. So we have a. Uh, was tech diz and the question is uh, talking about zero and the answer is uh, we're working on that okay moving on first term people get a shout out as oh, as was tech absolutely correctly said I won't be able to pronounce his name anyways 
But shout out to you, Warstech. Let me know how I did. Shout out to Ashley Page. What is going on around the site? Sav Candice in the house. Boom! What is going on, Yasun Lu? Mark Johnson. Oh, and Alex Davis. Uh, shout out to Alex Davis. And we got a Joseph Briggs. What is going on, mate? Aren't you going on holiday soon? Have a lovely time. Denise Kip. What is up? And why are there tons of, like, smiley faces? No, just just read up to here. Yeah, the tr <laughs> someone's, trying to, someone's trying to trick you. What is going on, Jon Snow? Have you learned anything recently? Or do you still know nothing? And last but not least, what is going on, Stephen Felt? What is up, guys? It's sad, sad being snidey. Uh, but you normally do it. I normally do it. I can see that. But when... So, those will come up. Oh, okay, it's your ha -has, But uh, I can't see your ha -has. You can't. All you see is like a whole bunch. So you exactly. have to see from my screen. Right. And it's fine. Right. Yeah. Doesn't work. Absolutely bang on. All right. We are continuing. Jon Snow. Hey, guys. What do you think about Red Dem Redemption Paul? And it's very sad to see him not getting in love. I had a lot of fun playing Red Dead Redemption. Jon Snow. Also, we need to sneak on DS Dragons. Do we get that? At one point, you said there will be multiple DS lines. Can you elaborate on this? Tell us more. <laughs> there has been some backlog on DS, and we believe the gates are beginning to open up a little bit more. And maybe we can have more information at New York Comic Con. Book your tickets. NYCC. NYCC, Jon Snow. What about Destiny or Vanquish? Do the do we get these licenses in the near future? Well, there was a semi unofficial TT done by a Marianne Latone, where most people were not interested in Destiny. No, 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 that was before no, no, E3. No. And then moving on to Vanquish, the answer was a resounding no. Um, so these never die. Vote, vote, and vote some more. Augustin Renzo, how? So how and when can I buy this? And what exactly? Ah, he's talking about the crash. It's probably the crash. 27th the of June on firstoffigures.com. Check out the website. There is a countdown timer. Pascal Michaud. So not many questions this week, just six. <laughs> Number one, how many Breath of the Wild lines are in, how many projects of Breath of the Lines are in progress? We have the Shaker Slate, we have Rider Link, <laughs> is that has been announced so far. Number two, is there some chance of a Statue of the Four Champions? Hey, if there's support, maybe we will look to TT that because secondary characters are their love. Now, if any secondary character is going to do well, it will be in Zelda and Dark Souls. Number three. If the Tekken line continues after Yoshimitsu, what would you do? Well, that would most likely be Nina. Number four. Is Mitsurugi still planned after Taki? Yes, let's see how Taki does. Number five, how did your meeting with Sunrise go? It went very nice. We discussed Jet Black, Physical, and discussed Spike Spiegel's 3D. Number six, if nobody asked, did you get a reply from Nintendo for Majora's Mask? And very soon the answer is no. Sorry about that. The only thing I got back was that it was going to be asked this week. And now we're back on Friday. I'm going to have a little quiet nudge. I'm going to let you answer Chandler's first question or sentence. What? Happy birthday. Who's... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Whilst I get some That's water... That's so funny. <laughs> when I get some water and I check the render, you can just explain yeah. a little bit about how it... Yeah, so... Uh, it's, it's your birthday every day. Yeah. Because you work at FRF. It's your birthday every day. I've been <laughs> celebrating every single day for the past two weeks because I am Sonic. So... <laughs> So guys, my my avatar is Sonic. Obviously, uh, we've been going on pre-order for two weeks, and that just ended recently on Tuesday. Uh, today, yeah, for the next five ten minutes, it's still 25th anniversary for Sonic the Hedgehog. Hence, why I made a post on the Collectors Club saying, uh, "Would you guys be interested in the 30th anniversary of myself?" 
and uh, you, I guess somebody didn't get the memo, uh, the memo saying that uh, it's Choco's birthday, but sadly it is not my birthday. It's actually Sonic's birthday, so. Uh, but I'll take the messages as, as, a, as a nice compliment. So uh, yeah, happy birthday to me and happy birthday to Chuckles and also to uh, Sonic. And we are both 26. Absolutely, and uh, you know Chuckles <laughs> always assumes the role of that. So you will see him taking on the persona, the crazy one of Crash Bandicoot on the 27th. Question one. How soon after securing a license do you start announcing information about an uncapping statue? And the answer is it, it wildly varies depending on what the license is, how much buzz there may be for a particular license. When we saw quite a lot of people coming in for the Spyro and Crash announcement, it, it gave me inspiration to show the 3D render of Spyro. If there was no buzz for it, perhaps we wouldn't have shown so earlier. We felt the love, we showed the love. Question two, do you feel announcing a license too early can be detrimental to a statue success? And the answer is absolutely. And the answer really is, it is a very, very fine line, very, very difficult to navigate, tight rope that we are walking across when it comes to knowing when to tease, how to tease, and to continue to tease. Now, I will say is I'm very happy with the way that we do it. When we announce something to actually then going into the actual pre-order, it's not too far behind. However, for example, you know, we announced 15K six months ago Berserk was going to be in the house, yet here we are still not actually making the pre-order for that. Now, we would not like that to be the case in the, in the normal scenario. However, 15k, much like 20 and 25k are very important milestones for us, and we wanted to celebrate it with something that the community was always requesting. Now, we I wouldn't say we had our hands forced in that respect, but it was something that we wanted to do. Now, some companies, no names given, if you're in the industry, you'll know, will announce licenses and then sit on it. And then when it's ready, we'll show it and it'll be an amazing piece. Hype, 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 that's fantastic. However, in between announcing the license and announcing that first piece, it's very easy for it to be hyped at the beginning and have it fall off. And of course you'll be hyped, it doesn't matter if the hype was massive at the time you announce it and then the interest disappears, but the moment that that product comes in and it, you know, assuming it's awesome, you'll have instant hype regardless of when you announced it. However, we try to do something a little bit different, which is when we're announcing it earlier than expected, i.e. Guts, i.e. Berserk, we try our best every so often to keep reminding people that it's coming and to keep the hype train going. And I think we do a pretty good job in terms of keeping people interested yeah. in certain lines. Yeah. You know, you know, keep, keep, it, keep it coming along. And it's really, really hard to get that right balance. And when we, uh, when we leak stuff as well, yeah. <laughs> Happy accidents. <laughs> but yeah, sure, I mean, every time when we announce something, you know, we, we, we don't forget about it. We, we, we just keep saying, you know, if people ask, we'll just answer them. And we'll just tell you what, what stage it is at. If it's at the licensor, it's at the licensor. If it's, at, if it's on our court, we, we say we're working on this. If it's in, in production, then, you know, it's the same thing. So, uh, yeah. Absolutely. <clears throat> okay. Bum, ba -da -bum, ba -ba -bum, number two. Number three. Hypothetically speaking, if you were planning on releasing a Princess Zelda statue for pre-order in mid-2018, when would you feel comfortable announcing the project and start dropping teasers in the Collector's Club? When we have more movement on Rider Link, because, uh, yeah, I would like it to go, I don't want to be teasing too much, hypothetically speaking, I wouldn't want to be teasing anything until we have other things gone through the, the, um, through the system. But honestly, Chandler, you would be instrumental in feeding Mona Lisa's um, you know, imagination 
<laughs> with, you know, just a little sort of sideway little cheeky smile about whether or not something is actually coming out for uh, a bit for of BS. <laughs> <laughs> you know, honestly, guys. It's good, though. It's all, good, all in good fun. I don't even remember. I mean, you're... You're the Zelda, you run around with a shield and a sword, you run around with that, uh -huh. collecting these things, uh -huh. and you're, who you, Prince, are you supposed, to, you're supposed to rescue Princess Link or something, wasn't it? Right. I can't read, who is Zelda? <laughs> let me know in the club. <laughs> if you've got some photos, let me know, because I don't even know what character that is. Ricky on Red Pal, if you were going to do something straight out of left field, special edition, like, like a Cat Mario, um, one that could be potentially a nightmare. Would you be open to a capped edition size in these special scenarios, or will you still be a two-week pre-order? Um, Praise the Sun edition was the Lucky Cat Mario example in the timed exclusive era of First of Figures. So the answer to that is no, we would not do it for two weeks, but we would do it for three days. So that is the way that we do those types of scenarios. So Lucky Cat Mario's equivalent in the F4F modern era is... Raise the sun, so let. Sean Spell, running out of Metroid's questions, so I'll re-ask last week since you were a bit rushed and misread it. I do apologise. Would, will you guys try to release a PVC Samus with the release of Prime 4, like Link, Out of Breath in the Wild, and since Prime 4 will be what's hot for Metroid, will the statues around that time be focused on Prime 4? We have no you guys say mm -hmm. in the matter. In a perfect world, we would love to do everything for every release. We have no say in the matter. We do not have an answer for you. I do apologize. Seeing as you are joint first Metroid fan in the club, what is up, Matthew Law? <laughs> it's going to be a long while until we get actually see some screenshots, game screenshots for Metroid 4. Indeed. Yeah. Um, Greg Mikulowski, hey guys, last week you said Zero had to be repainted of things. How did the Zero repainting go? Well, the answer is it's not just repainting, it's completely remaking because the electronics were completely busted and the wires were smashed up, so it has to be completely remade. We have to invest not an insignificant amount of money to get it remade because it's not just simply busting out silicon molds from two and a half years ago to get it remade. It doesn't work like that. You have to remake silicon molds because they deform after a year. So unless you want zero to become Biro by accident because it's all bent out of shape, mm -hmm. we have to remake the silicon molds. So it's going to involve at least another month to get that, you know, and we'll have to see how that progress goes. And I will keep you guys informed. It is the least we could do. Manny Gerards, do you know the shipping order for King of Red Lions? First my house, then Canada, then Europe, then USA, etc. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so well, it's definitely shipped to the office. Yeah, we're definitely... It's looking very sweet. We don't have any answers on that. Canada first, then I need to see if it's Europe or uh, America next. But they're all pretty much going to go at the same time, I believe. But of course, the delivery times to America are that much faster because it's just across the pond. Cedric Bardo, about the Crash Day 1 card. Will you give us some choice like you usually do? And the answer is absolutely. See you on Tuesday. And not just a card. Uh, obviously, because of the timing, it looks like Crash Bandicoot will be the first one to actually have Day 1 edition. Uh, the design for Day 1 on it, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. It'll be the first one on the product, right? For day one. Why no. Well, well, the other ones will have it as well. Like what? Like anyone that has day one will also yeah, have but, a day one edition. But, but Crash will be out in the market before the actual, you know, oh, you see what I'm saying? Majora's yeah. Mask. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah I had a yeah. discussion with Stan, he's like, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. Majora's, oh, yeah, yeah. Majora's Mask was actually the first product to have day one. And obviously, Majora's Mask production time is way longer than the PVC. Yeah, yeah. PVC, PVC stuff uh, for Crash is coming out like July, August time. So that's why on Tuesday there will be another poll for the day one logo. I'm really hoping I can do quite a lot of that yeah. for day one. So uh, yeah, definitely uh, vote for the style, the font, whatever it is that Sandy's going to knock out 
on Tuesday as well. So there'll be two different polls on Tuesday. One for the actual day one uh, signature card design itself, and then the other one will be the day one logo. Yeah. What is up, guys? Those who just joined us, make sure you put it into the comments. Hashtag F4F 47 one word and the number four and seven. So hashtag F4F 47 for a chance. For three people who have a chance, win 500 reward points. Okay. Next one. Indeed. So. Um, Michael Bonner? Michael Bonner is yep. King of Red Lines on his way to the US shipping. Not yet very soon. Can't wait. Also looking forward to meeting you all in person in October. Boom! See you at New York Comic Con. Much appreciated for coming to come and see us. Yay. Hernan Gonzalez. Will. When will PayPal be available and when is on scene PO expected? Yeah. PayPal is now done. John, my partner, gave me the good news <clears throat> yesterday. However, we will not be implementing it for Crash, but uh, especially because it's not really going to have a payment plan, so it's pretty easy peasy lemon squeezy. And it's really. Only a few days, right? It's a bit right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, we want, we to, want some... to be testing it. Yeah. So, if everything goes smoothly, the next resin launch will have PayPal as an option. Ooh. It's only been ten years in the finally. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, on scene PO is in Q three. Make sure you check out our pre-order calendar on the web site. Bookmark it. There's two calendars on the website. One for the upcoming pre-orders and one for the uh, estimated shipping dates. Rani Taraz, we need to see more props. Blades, guns, tanks. When will we see some bayonet renders? Well, as I said, we would not be making any renders until we negotiate with... National Geographic, and that is still some discussions going on there. Um, but of course, when we ran that, I mean, and this is a result of running that TT for Bayonet, so many yes votes compared to no votes meant it was quite a interesting thing to discuss with Nat Geo, or as we say in the office, NG. Um, okay, we have. Chan Labata saying Bowser is looking gorgeous. Can we expect his pre-order sometime next month? Blind pre-order, maybe it is a issue with the website backend. Moving on to Gene Delore. When PVC will kick off and have tremendous sales, will you consider to do some licenses in PVC that you didn't do so well in poly? And the answer is most likely not because the strength of the poly is a indicator of the strength of the franchise and therefore and extrapolate that to pvc so those that did not do well at poly are very likely to do badly at res uh, at pvc as well stephen reynolds in the questions, Charles uh, has pointed out to me any news on adding an experience bar for the website for reward points. The answer for that is yes, absolutely, we are not quite there just yet. But it is a next big project to tackle. PayPal was one, and that's coming to be wrapped up soon. And the next one is going uh, was a behind the scenes that has allowed for us to really deal very nicely with the authentic the system and how that works with regards to, you know, our our shipping guru Sunny used to have to manually work out how many people had authenticated from what product, when it was, how do they do that, where do they live, what warehouse. Holy shit, was it a difficult thing to do? Because we're not talking about the 200 pieces anymore. Indeed. So with the bigger numbers and stuff like that, we got this thing working for King of Red Lions, and to see that automated in a way. That was just not possible on a digi shop is just a legendary jump forward and that is wrapping up now yeah. you, know, you know what it means hurry up yeah <laughs> it is quarter past 12 and we have been having fun i would love to except for people keep asking questions <laughs> it's only a few more all right so we'll get through it yeah okay 
Uh, Jean Deloup says, I believe it would have better sales for a smaller size and cheaper price. I disagree with you. I think it's absolutely about the fandom. If the fandom is not big enough, <clears> it doesn't matter what the size, what the price is, or what the item is. It doesn't matter one bit. Shana Barta, Mona Lisa asks you, ask your question here. Alex, uh, Mona Lisa says, Alex, will a potential Princess Zelda bust be resin or polystone? Resin and polystone is exactly the same thing, my dear. Uh, and I've never said anything about a Princess Zelda bust. Would that be something that you'd be interested in? And the question is, how low do we go? Um, and uh, would you consider making the Mirror of Twilight or the Zelda Ego props? The answer is, hey, why not? Kaylin Lee, any news on Phoenix Wright? I see you're asking the questions. That is a new name. Are you a first time to join us? What is up? And the answer is, we are going to 3D print with that. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. James O'Connor. Oh, over here? Yeah, over there. The Q uh, the, 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 yeah, the oh, Q you mean looking at me over here? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. Okay. <clears throat> James O'Connor, what will the box for the exclusive crash be made out of? Is it cardboard or wood? It's made out of really nice, quality, thick cardboard. That looks like wood. That looks like wood. <laughs> yes. Austin Paul, what is the secret end of Q2 announcement? Huh? It was almost there. Don't get too excited about it, guys, but you know, it's a little just, you know, something we've been working on in the background. It's just something that we've been working towards. It's nothing like, you know, it's, it's something that we've been working on. It's, it, it, it's just something that has some potential for the future for us. Kayleen's a lurker. She's been lurking in here for a while, but you know. Hey, yeah. thanks very much for joining us. Yeah. Are you in the club? Make sure you do she's join in the club. Want. I know she's in the club. Cool. Yeah. Well, we look forward to hopefully having you Come and chat with us a bit more often. Yep. Uh, Sam um, Alegria says he'll be ordering Crash. Much appreciated. We'll see you on Tuesday. For those that aren't sure when that live stream will start, it will be uh, 10 p.m. Hong Kong time. Say hi, Matthew. What is up, Matthew? How are you doing? Hi. There you go. We're not ignoring you, Law. <laughs> what is going on, Matthew? I hope everything is going okay for you um, out in the real world. Guys, that is another week of questions and answers done. Would you do us the honor <sighs> well, by sharing out the stream because we are going to be talking about Crash. It is time to discuss Crash PVC. I think it would be nice for us to actually get the whole thing in the box and show it. Obviously, they've seen the render of it. Why don't we go and show it? So I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna walk past that Talk thing. It should be actually finished, the render. All right. Uh, but also get it in box. I'm assuming we have one in box. Should be. Or is it upstairs? Is it upstairs? Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we should have some down here. Uh, put it back in then. <laughs> but I believe the exclusive box is not here. You found it? Hey, and thanks for joining FRF. You've ordered Sonic on day one. You've seen a few posts about special things for day one orders, but not sure what that means. Well, day one editions, basically, uh, you get some extra freebies, uh, you have an uh, additional signature card signed by Alex, so on top of your authentic authentication card you get another card and then you get a holographic sticker on front of the, not, not, yeah, you get a holographic sticker but it's not going to be on front of the box, they will come on a separate, on a separate sheet. So uh, you can stick that on the box yourself or stick that underneath the base. So uh, a lot of members have been asking, can we have that done separately? And then you will get extra reward points as well. So uh, if the statue costs 385 US dollars, you get an extra 385 uh, reward points on top of the reward points that you normally get as well. So uh, day one edition is worth a little bit extra. And uh, thank you for supporting Sonic as well on day one. So uh, the day one lasts for 24 hours. So that's going to apply to the Crash Bandicoot as well on Tuesday. So the pre-orders on, on Tuesday is going to, the, for, for the Crash is going to be very similar to what we normally do on the resin. So the pre-orders were open for two weeks on that. So whilst Alex is, have you done it yet? I do. I just, I just All right. 
All right, really? Four K. So actually, it only takes six hours then. It made no sense for it to be so long. Ah, well. So we got there in the end. A bullshitter, yeah. bullshit to a bullshitter. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, what's the questions? What's the questions? Thank so you, Kassan. Thank you, Kassan. Yeah, it's upstairs. Right, right. Okay, yeah, cool. Don't go upstairs. All Thanks, right, Kassan. Yeah, Thanks, Kassan, <laughs> for sharing the <laughs> sharing the video. <laughs> Uh, oh, I was feeling hot, why is that? I didn't realise it. No, 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 this. That crash is fucking covered that shit. You cover the fan. <laughs> I'm dying um, for a slash. Hold your horses. Guys, one more time, we're about to show the uh, non nightmare version. Has the shipping cost gone up for crash yet? Uh, yes, the answer is if you're based in America, we've subsidised it. 15, no, he meant on the website. 15 bucks uh, to America, 20 to Europe, subsidised. Because we appreciate that, well, we just, you know, shipping it becomes more sensitive at these smaller, smaller items. Smaller items. Yeah. All right, guys, here we go. What, it's what? time. Time. Guys, everyone ready? Everyone awake? What, what? Get your screen grabs ready. Yep. It's time to screen show. grabs. Share that in the club. Share that in, into all the other pages and groups. Share, share, share. Come on. Everyone's still on the hype train, right? Here we go, guys. This is a, sort of like an earlier pre, pre-production one. Mm -hmm. It's near enough, right? Yeah, it's near enough. Here we go, guys. Bringing it in. Can you, can you, can you sing me the song? Dung. Dung, 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 dung. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. Or maybe we can actually. There's no reason why. Yeah, we let's can't play, play the music, right? Let's, let's get music. sued, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> now we love acting. Oh, oh, no, 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 I need to play it. Yeah, your but your speakers are like the shittest ever. Yeah, well, you know, if, I says, had, if I had that laptop that we saw tonight, yeah, that's ooh. true. It said, it said YouTube crash course. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let me just double check. Is this one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn that shit up. You got to turn up. Right. Let me just get past this. this thing. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Let's have some uh, background tunes. Are you ready? Let's check it out, guys. Here we go. It's like quiet. God, you can't hear shit. <laughs> hold on, let's see how loud it gets. Kind of. <laughs> Can we hear anything? This is an old sample, I think. It's yeah. <laughs> We're having too much fun with this. Yeah. <laughs> spin that, spin that bad boy. Spin that bad boy. Mm. Spin that. We need a crate. I don't know. We need some explosives in here. Get ready for the last bit. Get ready for the last bit. <laughs> the hump. The hump. <laughs> Can even hear anything, I hope they can. This is like the longest song ever. <laughs> yeah! Woo! We got there in the end. <laughs> 
Oh, Scheiße. Jesus Christ. <lacht> Crash uh. Bandicoot Tuesday, 27th of June. We will be putting him up for pre-order the exclusive version only. Now, let me show you guys. The exclusive version, 89.99. The pre-orders will last for two weeks, which will end on July the 11th. Uh, we're going to be going live stream at 10 p.m. Hong Kong time as always. And then we'll do a countdown with you guys until 11 p.m. Hong Kong time. And then we go boom, live. First come, first serve, low numbers, new numbers, new character from the Crash line. It's the first come, first serve, the numbers for Crash. That's right. Go throughout the entire line, including the resins. Yeah. First come, first so there will be day one edition just as uh, what i explained earlier on there will be an extra signature card thanks nicole a holographic <laughs> sticker she like my dance <laughs> all right well, cool <laughs> and uh, extra reward points as well and the flexi pay option would be jordan wants nightmare crash <laughs> was nightmare crash <laughs> um absolutely guys yeah. okay guys we're just going to show you the beautiful packaging for the regular box that our lovely Sandy has made. It's very similar to, if you like the sort of things that you saw for Breath of the Wild, we've gone very similar to that as well. And I'll show that to yep. you guys now. Here you go, guys. Check it out. Absolutely beautiful. So you show you, obviously, you have your crash here. And what's quite interesting is that we sort of removed the front of the clamshell. Now you have this window box here. And normally if you look at his body and you can see... Be careful with the reflection. Oh yeah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that should be okay. All right. You know, if you, if you look at the feet and the sort of hands, everything around his face, right, you can see it's been double plastic on that. But the actual face itself is actually very clear. And the reason is because we've cut a hole in the clamshell so that you can actually see his face that much clearer. So when you're at the you're in the shops and you see them you can actually see it a bit a bit better um you know yeah. when you see like that and here we have a lovely window on the top in order to allow for good lights uh you know and sort of the lovely sort of scenery that you get in the game right yeah the uh, the portal at the end of the stage well this is really awesome on the inner card you can see that that portal what chucks was saying it looks absolutely gorgeous and that acts like a diorama setup as well, so it's very, very similar theme, style, and consistency with the Breath of the Wild link. Absolutely, and uh, it would look very nice next to each other with the window with the Aku Aku mask shining through there as well on the top. And uh, we'll, we'll go into more explanation in the making of documentary as well, how we came about to this design. Uh, that front Chinese bit yeah, of text yeah. is not. <laughs> yeah, 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 like, okay, yeah, see that bit. Yeah, okay. that Chinese text in the corner is not going to be there. Yeah, yeah, do we can do it. In, that. in that place will be a F R F. That's right. That hologram. Will, the hologram sticker, yes. And uh, what do we see on the back? Uh, what is that? And then what, what is that? <laughs> Does it come off yeah. the screen? Let's see if it. <laughs> what. Alex Davis and All right. <laughs> um, Absolutely guys, so really hope that you like what you see here, it's sort of really we feel like we captured the sort of essence of Crash and it said the window on the top we have the Aku Aku mask on the top there as well, just to have a nice little extra something something on that. So this is the regular version, the exclusive version has that crate, we'll show you more on the Tuesday where you can actually open it up and what you do is you actually put this physical box inside the exclusive one so you get the best of both worlds. Really hope that you guys like it and we look forward to seeing you on Tuesday. Yeah. Jocks, you want to hit them with the price and the... Uh, and the um, yeah, let me just run through that again. So yeah, so right now it's on the, the link to the product, the exclusive version is actually on the website. But remember, read that red text. It says, please note, this is not available to pre-order until June 27th so uh, don't worry it's not sold out you know that checkout button that buy button will be there on Tuesday um, if you haven't seen the video there's actually the trailer on the uh, page as well uh, so right now there's a countdown timer which says three days 22 hours and 40 minutes to go until Tuesday the price will be 89.99 USD um, Obviously, the pre-order will last for two weeks, so the pre-order will open until June, uh, July the 11th, 
Uh, if you scroll all the way down at the description, it mentions everything, including the box, the bonus day one editions. Uh, for you know the actual release date, we will announce that. Well, we're expecting July August time, so uh, but we will keep you all updated on that. Um, to do anything else on the website? I believe that should be it on the website. So oh, you're talking about the payment plan. I that's it. Yeah, the yeah. payment plan needs to be discussed. So uh, obviously. The, the the total sum is eighty nine ninety nine. We we had a lot of feedback from customers saying, hey, what about a flexi pan uh, flexi pay option for this? And we say, yeah, sure, why not? So obviously, because it's a low price for this one, we will set the NRD a little bit higher at forty five. At forty five, and then when the time for the item to be shipped out, you just pay the remaining cost, which is forty five plus your shipping. Plus the shipping. So hopefully that would help you guys. You know, it's like a little nice little thing you can add to us. Uh, towards your current pre-orders so uh, hopefully that that would help you uh, we will accept credit card as always uh, and uh, obviously PayPal options not up there but you just hit up CS hit up CS yeah, send uh, we'll explain again on Tuesday how the PayPal function works because it's going to be through the contact us form but we will give out a key code on that day uh, so uh, make sure you join us on that day if you want day one edition and then uh, it's really straightforward if you guys have been buying from us for a long time it's, it's exactly it works exactly the same how a resin pre-order works but if for, for the new members here make sure you join the collectors club because uh, after tonight there will be a pin post in the collectors club there it will list out all the information that we just mentioned throughout the stream uh, all the images uh, all the different 20 bucks Ryan what 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 is asking for the shipping cost 15 is not 20 if he's for the EU oh EU is 20 there you go yeah. right so uh, yeah I believe that's pretty much all the information there much appreciated yeah. guys thank you very much for joining us for this week's stream for those that have just joined us hashtag f 47 for a chance to win 500 reward points three people will be chosen at random next week and as always give us 15 minutes because in the club there will be a feeding frenzy for 100 reward points for the grand total of 109 people so make sure that you keep your browsers open to the reward points page so you can snag those reward points as always we always appreciate having you guys to come and hang out with us on this friday and uh, we really really can't do this without you guys so one more time we will be back on tuesday it's going to be all about crash and the exclusive version of the pvc and we will be seeing you then chocks anything else before we head off keep on sharing Keep, keep on, on sharing. Yeah. We, get that we, 25k. Hopefully, if we get it up tonight, yeah. we might be able to make that video for you next Friday. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. So, uh, you know, guys, thank you once again. We will see you in the club as always. See you on Tuesday. And one, two more things to say. The first one is there will be not one, but two videos yep. going to be posted on YouTube in the next sort of hour, hour and a half. So do keep an eye out for that. We will be sending out that information in the club, et cetera, et cetera. One will be the making of documentary over one hour and 15 minutes for Crash, and the second one is me behind the scenes. And they will be sent out through the uh, newsletter as well. So exactly. if you haven't signed up, please sign up. To sign up to our newsletter, just go to our website and just punch in your uh, email address in, and then uh, that's it, straightforward. Yes. The final thing is there is going to be something put on our main page shot. Thousand reward points giveaway. Oh, yeah, 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 that one. <laughs> when you say main page, it's like which page? Oh yeah, what yes. a face. Sorry, yeah, the, the well, Facebook, Facebook page. page. Yeah. So uh, as always, when we go preview Friday, uh, we will post a uh, a main post there, like a contest. Uh, basically, allows you to allows up to five lucky winners the chance to win one thousand reward points. So straightforward. All you have to do is just click on that image, and that image will take you to a form, fill in the information. Really straightforward. And then uh, just cross your fingers and hope you win. That's on a preview Friday. So uh, we'll always come back on a pre-order pre Tuesday because pre-order Tuesday you get a chance to win one of these as well. So double the chances. Make sure you enter that contest tonight and also enter the contest on Tuesday as well. One last thing I can see we've got Colton in the house. I don't realize, I don't remember really seeing him on live streams before. Not not often. Yeah, not not often. But not often. you know, hey, Colton, have we have we agreed for um, 
Bayo for three O. Have we agreed for that? Have, have we, is that what we've agreed? Bayo for three O, because it nicely rhymes. Yeah. Let us know in the comments if that's, uh, if that's what we've agreed. Can't remember where we, we sort of ended on that. Mm. Uh, guys, thanks again. We will see you in the club. I'm your host, Alex. I'm Chuckles. FF is love. FF is life. We will see you very, very soon. Take it easy. Peace.